Well, if it isn't you again, the chatty chatters. Welcome back. Good to see you all here. How we all doing? Happy Tuesday to you all? Boy, it feels like a Monday, but uh, for those of you who are excited for God of War, that's, uh, that's on its way, baby. I hope you're all excited for that one. But speaking of uh, Ragnarok and, uh, you know, Vikings and the whole Nordic lore, we're here for some Land of the Vikings. Good to see you all here. Welcome in the Big O stream. We're going to get started in just a moment. So thank you very much for dropping in, smashing like, subscribing. Welcome back to all you longtime members, new subscribers, gifty gifters, and just uh, Raptorians in general. I hope you're all enjoying your week so far. Uh, this game is great. Really, really great. I like what I've seen so far in the game, and now it is finally entering early access. Enjoyed the demo. Enjoyed the extended demo. Played a little bit of the early access last night, and I just like any game where you just cut down trees and gather wood and simple materials and stone and whatnot to build stuff, and this one's a lot of fun. I'm hoping today that we get a final chance to uh, go out on some actual decent Viking raids, as the previous demo versions I think only lasted for like a, a year or so, like you could only play for about a year and then it would be like GG, which is fair because it was just a demo. Uh, but now today we're going to finally build a permanent settlement, I suppose, for these Viking folks, or at least more uh, permanent than ever before, with more buildings and whatnot available. Should be a good time. So good to see you all here. You made it to a live stream? Congratulations, Earth Horse. Good to see you here. Yeah, we're gonna we're gonna be doing some raids. Not not no Shadow Legends, but should be a good time. So, anyway, welcome. Good to see you all here. Should be a a fun time. Later today, we'll be doing a video on this as well to kind of show a little bit more in depth look at the start. We'll kind of cover the tutorial a little bit more. We'll cover it today too, but the uh, video will kind of cover things and talk about the demos and I think this might still have a demo so for those of you who are watching today and you're like oh this looks cool but I want to try it before I buy it. I think there might be a demo so just check for it and if not could be the type of game to get a demo again soon as uh, Steam always has these awesome events so uh, let's start ourselves a new game then um, there's a few more maps to choose from I'm going to try to play in a map we haven't seen before in the demos and that uh, I haven't yet played in myself so we're going to try to do something completely new We'll see how it all plays out. So, welcome aboard. Hi, Raptor. How are you? This game looks good. I'm good, Emma. Thanks for asking. Uh, yeah, this game is... Uh, I like it. I want more, you know, Viking city builders. And more builders of cities that you... Usually we get medieval Europe, medieval Europe, medieval Europe. And that's, like, what we get for these types of times. Like, I any sort of ancient city builder, it's either Egypt or med medieval Europe, and that's it. So, I'd love to see more Scandinavia, more... Uh, Asia, like ancient China and Japan. Korea, for example, I think there's a lot of uh, interesting history that would be phenomenally fantastic to see different types of things that they traded, different boat styles, different, uh, you know, religions and culture and beliefs and food. You know, obviously the Scandinavian diet a bit different than what they would have had in ancient China and same with Africa, for example. You know, I would love to see more games that allow you to gather, hunt, fish and kind of teach you that way, you know. And I think one of the games that really made me fall in love with these types of city builders was Emperor Rise of the Middle Kingdom, a game where it was taking place in ancient Japan and, uh, or sorry, ancient China, ancient China. And you build like the Great Wall of China and um, it was really fascinating for me to learn about all these ancient leaders who just built like monument on top of monument on top of monument. So I would love for more games that especially allow you to do that. But in this case... We get to build ships, and that's pretty badass. We get to build the, the long ships and boats and stuff for fishing and uh, raiding and for trading. So should be a good time. So no more, no more, no more further ado. Let's go. Let's build ourselves a Viking clan. So we get to build our village name, and uh, we also get to pick a map. And then we'll we'll do the tutorial on, so that way everybody can kind of uh, get, get a little uh, feel for it. So that should be good. All right, let's do, um, well, let's do Raptorheim. Let's do Raptorheim. That's a good one. Did I ever play Zeus, Master of Olympus? No, I, I played the Pharaoh and Emperor Rise of the Middle Kingdom and a um, couple of, uh, Caesar, I think, a couple others, I'm sure, that I can't remember. I, I really enjoyed those, though. I thought they were phenomenal. I, I think we need more city builders that are ancient, like pre, you know, we're talking about, like, uh, you know, 0 AD to like, you know, 1500 
of all sorts of different places in the world. Um, and typically when we get, like, um, anything to do with military, it's usually, like, Rome and stuff all the time. <laughs> I mean, three billion, like, turn-based Rome games, which is totally fine. It's a very interesting uh, period of time and uh, very cool to see, like, the ability to make all those weapons and trade and do that kind of stuff in the Mediterranean. But more. I want more. All right, here are maps to choose from in the in the uh, early access version here. So we've got Small Land, which you'll see in today's video a little bit later. This map is really cool. It's like kind of your... It's the type of map you would expect, where it's like uh, a little clearing on a coastline. Lots and lots of trees, lots and lots of resources. It's a good start to kind of get a feel for the game without doing uh, going too far to go get stuff. Uh, there's the valley map. I think this one was in the demo. The first demo that was available, there's like a river that leads into a uh, kind of a bay that leads out into a larger fjord. There's Green Bay, which is uh, somewhere in Wisconsin. Um, I'm not seeing any Cheesehead fans or anything, so... <laughs> no, it's just a... This map is... Um, this one's weird. It kind of looks like a... It's almost like it's a river, but it's a fjord at the same time. It's It's hard to tell what it is. I looked at it and I'm like, I, can't, I couldn't really tell where it was. But these map size, by the way, even the small map is really larger than I would expect it to be. And the big maps are just like way too ridiculous. So it's like the maps are either small for kind of a starting map and then there's like just big. In fact, all the other maps are, yeah, there's one small map and then like every other map is big. There's also White Rivers too, which is like a, a, another like kind of bay. The only thing I wish that would change is that the um, you can't really pick where you get to start in the map, and I wish they would allow you to do that, because it would be... If you get such a big map, it would be nice to be able to settle in different places along the same map, because then it would kind of feel like a different start. To, since you don't, really, you don't really build out too quickly, you kind of want to keep things condensed for the start, keep everybody together, because it's hard to go a long distance. And in fact, in this case, the White River map, resource distance is really far. And I think that means, like, iron ore... And, um, maybe clay. A lot of stuff is just far away, so. All right, well, uh, we've seen the valley map before. And, uh, we'll see the small map later today in our video. So I guess we're going to Wisconsin. That seems like a good middle-of-the-road, uh, map. Big, normal resources, and resources are kind of near, so we'll be able to see a lot of it. All right, let's edit our banner. Let's see. Lots of traditional things here, but also just generic symbols, too. Let's see. A beer? Brewski, brah? What should we go with? Kind of liking the bird. Yeah. That's looking nice. This reminds me of a pie. You can't unsee it now. In fact, if I make it red, or actually maybe like, yeah, it's like a, a cherry pie now. Nice. <laughs> Best logo ever, Smiley. All right, let's go with the bird for Raptorheim. All right, so Raptorheim, Green Bay map, tutorial on. I don't see any difficulty settings, but that could be something coming along later, especially when more things are complete, so we'll see how it goes. Can you play this with friends? Uh, currently, it's single player. But it would be interesting to see multiplayer on this, where you could, like, launch raids on each other. That'd be kind of cool. All right, off to Wisconsin we go. Yeah. Ah, good. The tutorial is here. And there's our longhouse in the background. Pretty. Ancient Greece would also be nice in this style, for sure. Be interesting to start your own settlement that way. All right, here we go. Tutorial beginning. Welcome to your village. You can learn how to develop and manage your village by following this tutorial. 
Uh, in this section, there are keys that you need to use to develop the village. By pressing this button, you can select the trees in which you want to cut. Available villagers will cut down the trees of your choice and take the wood to the warehouses. Remember, as long as no settlements are established near the cut trees, the trees will continue to reemerge. Right, so there's no forestry building, I think. they'll just... Trees regrow super fast in this game, so you can cut down like the left side, and then once that's clear, go to the right side, and by the time you're ready to go to the left side again, boom, trees are regrown. Gathering stone, you can select rocks you want to dig by pressing this button. Available villagers will uh, dig the rocks of your choice and take them to the warehouses. By pressing this button, you can select the building you want to build. That's this big one in the middle. Um, in a suitable location, if you have enough resources and builders, the construction will start. By pressing this button, you'll enter the demolition mode where you can demolish. Uh, while the demolition mode is active, you can click on a construction or buildings in order to demolish. Remember, some buildings... When some buildings are demolished, the resources inside may be destroyed. Oh. I wonder if that means there's an option to empty a building before you destroy it if you're, like, moving a warehouse somewhere else. Tutorial. Roads. Where we're going, we don't need roads. By pressing this button, you'll switch to road mode. You can add roads to appropriate places in the path mode. Yeah, the Vikings, they love roads. Can't get enough of them, apparently. Also, I'm blocking a lot of the buttons, but literally what's behind me is an, an axe and a pickaxe for, like, cutting down trees and um, mining, and then, like, a, a road button. Villagers prefer to go by road when they're going to their destination. Walking a road gives villagers a speed bonus. Oh. I think it also increases their happiness, too. Like, if a villager's home is connected to the roads, I think it increases their happiness somehow. All right, left side is the resources, villagers, and management. Right side is speed controls. Top is the time of day in the season, which we're starting, I think, in spring. Here we go, brother. Amen. Right, I'll scoot over a little bit. Those of you who would like to see the uh, pushing buttons. There we go. Let's go take a look around. So remember, this is the big size map. So this is like the typical size. Oh. I think we can go to about here. Oh, no. we can. Get, oh, no. We can go all the... Go all the way up to here. Wow. So we can build up here. We can do farms all the way up here if we want to. A little bit of a land crossing there. Lucky. And that's the open ocean over there. That's kind of nice. We truly are in a bay. Yeah, pretty. Very pretty indeed. Yeah, it's Bob Ross for sure. <gasps> Chad, it's Fritz. He's made an appearance. Wow. One's in chat for Fritz, y'all. That's weird. We start three days in? I guess it took them three days to build the houses and the longhouse. Wow, that's pretty fast. Imagine building a Viking longhouse in three days. Hey, there's our logo and stuff, too. The bird. Cool. Alright, let's do what they say. Order a tree to be cut and dig some rocks. Let's go. Nice tutorial videos. All right, well, that's pretty self-explanatory. Paint tree, it'll be cut down. We're gonna need a lot of wood, so goodbye trees. I feel like there should be a way to hit control and then scroll wheel to be able to increase the size of this like paintbrush. By the way. If you think I'm cutting down way too many trees, no way. We need so many trees. Okay, let's do the same with stone. Stone's not as bad. We'll start with those ones. We'll get those later. All right, let's go. It begins. There go the Raptorians. 
Might assign somebody to work in the carpentry building. Now, another cool thing about this game you may have uh, remembered from our videos from before is that each job kind of has a special talent or trait that benefits it. So if you hire somebody who's really strong, they'll be able to produce more at the carpenter. As where if you hire somebody who's really smart, they might be able to get better deals at like the... Uh... Oh, maybe they'll be a better fisherman or maybe they'll be better at the marketplace, that kind of thing. All right, and we have to turn this on. Cool. Are the trees are the trees fair trade? Yeah, one axe plus one tree equals one wood. All right. All right, have three wood, 20 stone, 32 timber, build a marketplace now. Let's do that. Now oh, it's under storage. So we can place a building. In the video, it showed that you can press Q and E, but here... We can actually hold C and rotate the mouse, so that's nice. Yeah, the trees are going to grow back like crazy. They grow back like weeds. They're insane. Game doesn't have a price yet. It says coming soon. Yeah, it should be out uh, soon. Sometimes Steam games will be like released the same day and they'll say coming soon and then they don't have a price or anything until they actually drop. Which I think is annoying, but it's fine. Put the market over here. There we go. Now, roads take money to build, so I'm not going to build too many roads. But we should build them regardless. Yeah, you can build bendy roads, yep. Yeah, this is not a grid-based game, although... Um, buildings, you know, are square, and they kind of do have a little... grid to them, kind of. Look, Fritz is inspecting the road. Making sure that's a good road. Yep, that's a good road right there. <laughs> oh, Fritz. Can we build bendy walls? Yeah, we can put defenses around our city. We can build walls in this game. It's more of a decorative thing. and it, the, One thing I do like about this game is how the decoration actually gives specific bonuses. Like, you can build a bunch of crates near the marketplace or near your docks, and then it'll increase like storage capacity of nearby buildings. So not only does it look more realistic, but also it actually serves a like legit purpose, like it's a real thing, which is awesome. Uh, assign a builder and a marketeer. All right, let's do that now. Let's assign like five builders. Everybody else can go cut down trees and gather logs. We're going to need a lot more wood, so makes sense. Let's go speed two. Cruise Control with Willem Dafoe will return after these messages on UPN 9. Looks very promising. I agree. I've never made it to the whole Viking longship and raids part, so we're gonna we're gonna try to go through the whole city building that we've done a few times before, but it'll be a little bit till we get to what seems to be the real bread and butter of actually preparing to go out on raids and sending your Vikings out with supply. And seeing what you can bring back. Alright, so this needs to be built. Then we can assign a marketer. And we need a lot more material. But they're doing the thing. I think one day equals one month, too, in the game. There's three months per season. So every three days it'll be uh, a different season. Kind of like how it works in Medieval Dynasty. Three days of spring, three days of summer.
Get it, girl. Only 13 hours until Ragnarok midnight? Yeah. I went and saw somebody playing it a little bit this morning. I'm not going to spoil nothing, but I'm just going to say... I, in fact, I'm not going to say anything. I'm just going to be like... Hope everybody has a good time. If you like good games, I think you'll, I think you'll enjoy it. Ooh, look. People are walking around with torches. There's no f visible flame on the torch. Unplayable. Well, that one does. You cannot wait? Yeah. Alloy, I know you've been excited before you were born, dude. <laughs> for Ragnarok. You've been waiting for it even before you were, like... Like, the, the, the time before. Somebody's excited. How dare you tease us like that? I'm not gonna tease nothing other than, like... The type of game you want to lock yourself into the uh, house. You just don't acknowledge anybody else's existence for five days. Is there a first person mode like you can control a villager? I've not seen that yet, but that would be actually quite cool to be able to take control of a villager and do something like Medieval Dynasty. All right, they are dropping off material for the building of the market. So, wood is on its way and whatever else is needed. That's cool. Um, I would love to see first-person manor lords where you can not only take control of the lord, which we've seen, but, like, the people in the village, too. It'd be super cool. I would also like to see... You know we should play again sometime soon? I've only done one playthrough on the channel, but... Do you guys remember, um... Life is Feudal Forest Village? I think we should go play that. In a live stream one day. Maybe we'll play that later today. I also wanted to play Coral Island again, but uh, I don't know. Oh no, that's that's cool, Alloy. Don't don't even worry. We'll understand. Just lock your lock yourself in and like barricade the windows and doors and enjoy. Yeah, every time I think of a first person game, I always think of what. Uh, Life is Feudal, Forest Village did, and I was like, man, that was cool. I only played it once, and I enjoyed it. And, uh, kind of like one of those forgettable games, but it shouldn't be. But I mention it all the time, so I guess it's not really forgettable. I just, I should play it again. Maybe we'll do a series. You guys usually ask for series, but typically there's so many new games, I just, I don't even have time. Like, by the time we do episode one of something, four more games have come out. Like, seriously. Like, this week alone, I think there's, like... I've gotten like four or five emails just this morning of games that I definitely want to play. And, uh... <clears throat> I have a special announcement, but, uh... It's some pretty cool news, but, uh, I'll, uh... If we get to 500 likes, I'll, I'll drop some, uh... Some, uh, a bomb on chat. You guys are gonna love it. I think you're gonna love it. I'm holding it hostage. Enjoy. Okay. Marketplace is done almost. It'll give us silver. The marketplace is what we need to get silver. Then we can start with our uh, gathering hut. It's probably a good idea in this game not to build more than like two things at a time. Even one is kind of like stretching it a little bit. You played the MMO version of uh, Life is Futile? Yeah. I, remember, I think I actually have that, too. I'd love to play it. Alright, good. The uh, market is ready to go. So the market, they like speed at the market. Makes sense. Gotta be quick. Alright. Create roads to connect your buildings. Done. Create ten decorations. I think we're gonna add a bunch of... Um... Oh, also, you know what? I think 
YouTube keeps doing this thing where it's lowering the uh, brightness of a lot of videos and streams and stuff. I don't know why, so I'm going to turn the gamma up a bit. Maybe it's maybe it'll be too bright, but I keep hearing that it keeps getting lower and lower. I don't know why that is. How do you allow free gifting? If you'd like to get gifted a membership, like Cynthia Hooper becoming a raptor. Little raptor, wow. That is amazing. Thank you very much, Cynthia. Thank you very much for your membership, Cynthia. Green eyes in the chat. But if you want to, click join like Cynthia did. And then on the right side, there should be three dots. Or somewhere on there, three dots. And then just slide the... Uh, there's a little slider to allow other people to gift you a membership. So if you like this channel a bunch, and you think we're pretty cool, you just hit that allow button. If somebody wants to drop a big O bomb in the chat, it'll be like an auto accept. You have to do it automatically, though. You can't do it like after... Welcome. After a membership is... You have to do it like before, so you gotta do it now. Kafki, thank you very much for becoming a Raptor Egg as well. Thank you very much. Alright, let's play some tr uh, lights. James says top right three dots and then hit gift and slider to yes. Thank you, James. Shifty says going medieval just had another update to terraforming and cats. Really? When I read that, I first thought you said carts and I was like, no way. Be cool to transport things uh, via cart. But cats will do, I guess. So, yeah. The coolest thing about this game, or one thing that I'd like to see other games do, and I think this is great, is like, for example... Uh, four barrels increases the storage space of some buildings. I think you have to build it nearby, but like certain things do give certain bonuses. So like when you build a wall, I think it's under military. Or it's somewhere. It used to be in the demo. Maybe they're still working on it, but... Oh, right. weapon rack, you increase the defense rating of the village. Broken cart. It looks broken, but it'll still... Like it still does stuff. So if you build a cart somewhere near... A, yeah. Like if you build it near the marketplace, you get a bonus. So it's, it's pretty cool. But we'll save our material for now. We'll decorate a little bit later. Yeah, you can attach carts to cats. That would be interesting. Andrew T, welcome back. It's a little raptor. Good to see you here. Thank you very much for the support. Let's go to a gathering hut. Gathering huts are usually more effective near trees. So we'll plop it over here. And then when the trees regrow, we'll just make sure we don't cut down too many on the right side. A little out of town, but not too crazy, you know? This is a pretty good distance in the game already. Not too far, but it's... Like, that's kind of perfect distance. connect that once it's done. Another thing is you can't connect buildings with roads until they're like completed with their construction so you'll just have to come back and connect them later. New member welcome. Yeah! Viking bears? No. There are no bears. And I hope not. We could even go up here and cut trees. Like, our people can walk up here. Silver's the new gold, yeah. Yeah, whenever I say gold and silver, it's synonymous with just money. But we gotta get food going, so that's why we're building the gathering hut. I think the f houses that we start with already have some food in them. Yeah. Start with, like, some chicken and some meat and stuff in there, so they're good. Boom. 
bum, bum, bum. How big is the total map? Uh, this is the big time map, so big is just like actually pretty big. There's like two sizes, small and big. Wow, Cynthia with the big 05. Wow. Thank you. Long time lurker, first time member. Your channel helped me get through nursing school. Thanks, Raptor. Well, thank you for watching. Congratulations on getting through nursing school. Much love. Lego hearts. The map is pretty big. A lot of this one is kind of water, but the size is... It all kind of just depends on the, uh, the landscape, really. But yeah, it's, it's pretty big. I think, I think there's actually... It says that they're only big maps, but I feel like there's another map that's even bigger than this. But, you know, a lot of this is mountains and water, so it... You know, they gotta kinda like... On one hand, you wanna build, on the other hand, it's like it's all fjords, so it's gotta be mountains and trees and rivers and uh, water. Yeah, Donna Man a little bit. Yeah, a little bit. Donna Man, I think, was even bigger. I don't even think... I would build much further from my initial city in that one. But in this case, we got boats, so we kind of want all of our city to be near our water. That's where the whole, like, international travel will be. Your videos are like gaming ASMR for me when I'm working on projects. I put the videos, yours, I've already seen. So soothing. So many of you tell me that you guys just listen to the streams because you're busy in the background. Our audience is a little older. It's not like kids or high schoolers. It's like college students and like working professionals. So sometimes people will be like, dude, your chat's so quiet. And it's like, dude, everybody here is just like doing dishes and like <laughs> changing their kid and stuff. Like people are just busy. So anyway, thanks for sharing uh, your busy day with me. I know you guys are busy. Hey, check this out. This is nice. This gateway. Makes the village look richer. It's an installation next to people's... Oh, it provides happiness, yeah. So there's so many differences to... Uh, or so many bonuses to decorating. Nice. Looks like for the houses, it's got to literally be next to the house, but uh, I think you should just put flowers and things there. So as you can see, it's a little more beneficial to put houses really closely put together, especially since our space is kind of limited too. But that's the challenge. Proofreading scientific papers, yeah. Everybody in chat's like working on their thesis. Mayor of a town, accountant, attorney, truck driver. But more importantly, they're gamers. And they love games. One of the greatest things, though, is that uh, streaming and YouTube videos are really good for both, like, marketing in a way, you know, because you might want to play too, or just, like, you got you guys being able to experience a game when you have no time to do so. Like, think about how many people will be watching people play Ragnarok who can't afford a PS5 or just don't have time to play it or aren't sure if they want to get it yet or, or are interested in playing a God of War game for the first time and they have no idea what it is. Or this, Land of the Vikings. Maybe they haven't played City Builders before, and they're like, Man, that looks cool. I want to build a city. I'm not sure if I can do that, though. Oh. Look at me. Look what I can do. <laughs> a scarecrow? I wonder if there are flowers. I feel like there should be something to do with flowers. Build a little fire, fire pits here. Seems like we're blowing our money on useless decorations, but I think it'll look cool, and of course it actually matters, so. Okay, are the gathering uh, huts done? Yep, okay, let's go ahead and assign gathers. I'm gonna assign two here, because food's pretty important, so let's do one speedy and one lucky. And now they just gotta gather fruit. Do you have access to all the decorations from the start, or can you unlock more? Um, I think those are all the ones at the moment, but there could be the option to unlock more, because I'm... Not seeing a couple I did see in the demo, like the ability to build New walls. Welcome. Maybe they've maybe they've done that differently. You used to just be able to build walls, like plop them down. 
But a lot of these things are X'd out, which means we have to do research through the Tree of Life. Which is like the Yggdrasil. But we'll get to that when the tutorial tells us. We'll just go in order. You can only watch the lives during the nighttime. You're relaxing before bed in Thailand. Oh, awesome. Welcome. Well, as a reminder, don't forget to uh, subscribe and turn on the notification bell. Certainly appreciate that here. And you can follow me elsewhere, like on Twitter, to see what I'm up to, uh, other things that I'm planning for gaming. Or Instagram to see all the good food that I'm eating. Come say hi on the Discord, too. You guys are welcome to come say hi. Don't be afraid. Love the, uh, love the hellos and the questions, and especially the game suggestions. We're going to be playing some games this week that... Um, you guys have suggested that I've wanted to play too. It seems like we have a lot in common. Seems. Uh, it seems like we can be attacked in raids. Yes, there are. Def there's a defense rating of the village here. So it says that uh, the defense rating can be increased by training new warriors or installing defense decorations. Warriors on missions are not included in the defense. So it seems like there are times where we'll send out warriors and then we'll kind of have less defense because our troops will be out on like a raid themselves. So it seems like we can be raided and also go out on raids. We'll see how it goes. Is this fair to compare to Farthest Frontier? I think if you like that game, you'll like this game, but they're kind of... They're certainly both city builders. They're certainly both farming and all the things that you'd expect for house building and whatnot, but... Um, I would say Farthest Frontier is a little bit more... Uh, complex, but this has things that this that that doesn't like. This has an actual frame rate over one FPS, and also it has uh, ships that you can build, and the ability to build a, an army to send them out on raids. As we're, it's completely defensive in uh, Farthest Frontier. Van Reen and Jacobs, thank you very much for the Raptor Egg membership. Welcome to all you new members today. Thank you very much, everybody, for all the support. All right, we got food going. Build a warehouse. Let's do it. Storage. Warehouse. Boom. Let's put that down by the water. Yeah, I know. Could you imagine? Over one FPS. Wow. Yeah, you, you need like quad 4090s to run uh, Farthest Frontier at two FPS. Uh, they're working on it. I make fun of it. I just want the game to be faster. That's all. They're working on it, though. I'm patient. Look, I played the game every day for a month, okay? I'm a fan. Well, let's build the warehouse by the uh, market. Gotta try to use as much space as we can. We don't really have a lot of like liberty to build things wide. But any space we do have, we'll fill with stuff. Build's looking decent. From village to pillage. New member, welcome! Or do you message on Discord for game suggestions? There's a section for it, but I mean, if you write me a DM and you're just like, Hey, what's up? Hey, check this one out. And you'd link me a Steam store page. I'll take a peek at that. No problem. Oftentimes, you guys already tell me about games that I'm either already going to play or that, like, I haven't heard of that are perfect fits. So, either way, it's either, like, already on the list, I've already played it, or something that I didn't know existed that I definitely want to do. So it works out. Yeah, I played Black and White. I haven't played it on the channel before, though. That one's a little older, but still good. Still very good. We'll have to do a stream of Black and White one day. Black and White kind of... I played Black and White around the time I was playing SimCity 4. So to me, Black and White and SimCity 4 kind of give me the same, like, uh, 2004-ish vibes.
All right, now we gotta buy or build a herbalist hut too. We'll wait till the warehouse is done. Get everybody focused on that. Building looks pretty good too. They'll actually lay down the foundation and then deliver building materials, and then you'll see it uh, constructed one by one. Oh, there goes Fritz, our foreman. He's watching the construction. Black and yellow, black and yellow. Have I ever played Mega Aquarium? I think I have. I think there's videos and possibly a live stream on the on the channel for that. Oh, uh, you test so many games it's hard to keep up. Did you play Homeworld and Homeworld 2? Not on the channel, but there is Deserts of Karak on there. So Homeworld Deserts of Karak is on the channel and we'll play Homeworld 3 when that's uh when we can get our hands on it. Be a little loot goblin with that one. <laughs> Or what do they what do they call it? Fueling? Furling? Yeah, Homeworld 3 is coming soon, TM. All right, obviously the warehouse requires speedy workers, so we'll go with one of those. And now time for our herbalist hut and doctor. Um, very bumpy. <laughs> That's literally water. Um... I think we'll put it near the market. Let's put it right over here. This reminds you of Manor Lords? Yeah, the, the play style of this is a little closer to Manor Lords than it is to uh, Farthest Frontier. That's more grid-based. This is a little more free. Rebuild or what? Gridless? Well, there's kind of grid to it a little bit. I feel like some things you want to build in a grid. Or at least build things in uh, districts. It was the bre- Wait, what? Oh, I thought somebody in chat said they were going to Norway for the bread. Bread and fish. That's what we're going to be making a lot of, that's for sure. Do I prefer grid-based style or free? I like both. I think grid-based is really cool for fitting a lot of stuff in a small area, like all the stuff you can do in... Uh, uh, Anno 1800, for example, when you could build like a massive island that's just pa jam-packed full of cities. On the other hand, uh, Manor Lords feels more realistic with its open layouts. Same with um, Ostrief. Full styles are really fun and they work. All right, let's make sure we're finding more stone. Hmm. Um, I haven't seen animal attack, uh, attacks in the game. I don't think bears or wolves or anything will threaten us. But just other Vikings might raid us at some point. So we'll have to see what happens. All right, uh, herb hut. Yep, okay. So that's going up now. The other thing is, too, you want to mine stone early, especially around the camp, so you can actually use these areas to build. Because pretty quickly, you'll you'll fill up your camp with all the required buildings. Good old bears. Chappy, nice to me. Don't torture me with the bears. They already do that for me. Put down some wood storage buildings. Maybe a stand. We're decorating our uh, sawmill.
Bucket, boxes, barrels, carts. Yeah, we can make soldiers. Yep, we'll get, we'll get to training a military soon. It'll it'll probably take about maybe two or three in-game years to first finish the other stuff like food. We'll get there. Can we build an inn? Um, there is a tavern. Oh, good. Now we'll assign a doctor, which needs to be big brain. All right, job done. Bread production. All right, so now explore the transition to settle life in the tree of life. Okay. Camus, thanks for the 13 months as a raptor egg. Thank you very much. All right, transition to settle Welcome. life. Let's make villagers work faster, happier. Crop growth, durability. And we need to save points. Okay, so now we can start building fields and wells. And a well actually counts as like a happiness building too, so good to build it near the houses. Okay. We need a farm field now. I like how this works. I want Farthest Frontier to allow us to do angled farms too. But I do like how you can expand fields in that game. Not sure if we can actually do that in this game where we can build like a field small and then like expand onto it. Hopefully that'll be a thing. If it's not, we'll see. Oh, trees are already in the way again. Um, build a farm field up here, maybe. Yeah, some of the best farming is Farthest Frontier and um, Ostrief. Ostrief was the first game I saw really take into account nutrients. There may have been other games that did that, but I liked how Ostrief did it with crop rotation and, and using manure and things like that from cows grazing on the fields. Then Farthest Frontier kind of expanded on that. Is all land fertile in this game? I think so, yeah. Ooh, 22 hours. We have an event. Newcomers will arrive in your village. Newcomers uh, were seen coming towards the village where they, where they came from. They were attacked by looters. Several families, including children, were able to escape since they could not bring any of their belongings with them. They had to leave everything behind. At the end of the day, a long journey, they reached your village. They need a place to stay in food. They want to join. Absolutely. Absolutely. We need to make homes for them, but let's get food going first. Uh, actually, I'm hoping for more people to cut trees. Let's start building some nice houses, though. 
We can build a nice poor house. And the differences between these houses, too, is that they have different material costs, but the better homes retain more heat, so thus they use less firewood. And since wood is a premium here for shipbuilding and stuff, that's going to be something to consider. Okay. I don't know where I want to put that, though. I feel like I want to delete the old homes and build new ones. I don't think there's a way to upgrade. But these houses do have food in them, so it kind of would be unwise to do that. It seems like food will last a long time. We just need to make sure it's the houses got what they need. I don't think distance to market matters either, so we'll just build a couple here. We'll start with like two. Um. Try to build these somewhat close together for the bonuses. These might be out of the range of the well, but we'll just build a new one. Let's start with three. That'll do. And... There we go. Is the pathing better than Planet Zoo? Hell yeah. Yeah, Planet Zoo's like, oh dude, you're trying to build a path here? It's got to be 7,000 kilometers wide, tall. Got to have a clearing of a million miles in all directions. Okay, next is to build a field and a well. Oh, actually, we're building the well. That's done, though. Uh, I'm just waiting for them to clear these trees and stuff out. I want to build a farm, like, up here. Let's go ahead and unassign people as builders so that the jobs can get done faster. The uh, cutting down and stuff. Let's see, uh, build a field, order wheat production, assign a farmer. Yeah, we'll need a lot of people for farming. Uh, build a wheat granary, windmill, and produce bread. And then increase village population have... Oh, we have to have eight houses in the village too, so... I guess building the houses is important. But we're going to need more materials. To we're building houses and we cut down on the builders, but we're going to need way more trees for that. More uh, regular wood. What is that? Two, four, f six? Okay, we need two more houses after this. Oh, 
Will I be playing Lord of the Rings Return to Moria? Not sure. There is a schedule down below in the description, though. If, if you guys type exclamation point schedule in the chat, too, it'll link you to show you kind of what I'm up to. There's a whole calendar for videos and live streams. I kind of... It, it changes all the time, but pretty pretty much like 90% of the like tw next 24 hours is always determined. I have to make my mind up sometime what I'm going to play, so... Oh, this game's on sale for $18 right now on Steam? Okay. So it must be like 10% off. So it's like originally a $20, $20 game with a little discount going on. Actually, you guys, Steam is having a big sale coming up soon. Keep in mind that uh, we're getting closer to Black Friday. And so I'm assuming that probably a week before Thanksgiving in the United States and a week after. So like the last two weeks of November, we'll have some big sales. Yeah, trees regrow, and they regrow quickly. You don't get to regrow them, but they just regrow really quick. All right, good. Now we've made area for our farm. Is that all clear? Yep. Okay, all clear. Let's build a farm like up here. Let's see how big we can make a field. Unfortunately, I don't think it'll tell us how many people to like optimal, like what the optimum size is or. Oh, okay. There's your maximum right there. Oh, that's too big. Oh. Still too big. No. There we go. That seems to be like the maximum size, maybe. But you can have more than one, so it's not a big deal. Uh, let's do wheat. Wheat, plant, workers, let's do six. The faster they plant, the faster they harvest, the more bread we can make. And we're going to need to build a windmill, too. Let's do the opposite of what we just did and assign a bunch of people to be builders. There we go, 10 builders now. Okay, cool. People dying also increases our food. That's true. Less people eating means... Oh, we're out of silver now. We're going to make money back by selling food, so now that we're producing food and medicine, we'll get some silver back. Oh, you're saying that it was related to our money. Okay. This is still a pretty good size field. Okay, so we might be able to go like double the size. I kind of like building medium-sized, lots of medium-sized fields. It kind of looks more believable. Yeah, we'll be able to make boats. Uh, one of the main things we'll have to do is build boats and start fishing. Right after we start farming, fishing is a thing. It'll take a lot of wood, though, to make all those buildings and fishing boats related to it. I'll keep giving the order to cut down trees. Regardless, we're going to need wood. Alright, so three homes to build. We need a granary, too, to store that wheat. We got a lot to build. Let's build it in an angle. But we need materials, so now we'll watch our little town grow. It'll just take a moment.
Yeah, Just Gamer, welcome back as a Raptor Egg. Green eyes in the chat, show him some love. Thank you very much for the support. Very nice. What is this? Oh, fame. I think that relates to our tree of life, but we only got one point. We'll spend some more later. Uh, we're at speed two. I think this is fine. I don't want to miss any events if they happen. Oh good, we're getting lots of food. Oh, the, the dots above them uh, means that they're homeless. We had a group of people uh, join us whose homes were like attacked by looters and raiders. So they fled and came to our town and now we've given them permission to build their homes. So they're they're working on it. I think that happens by default in this game, too. Every time you start, you get a big population bump like that. You can tell them no, and they won't stay, but there are negative and positive event or um, consequences for those events. So it's kind of like uh, Frostpunk. You know, like something will happen to your city, and you can say... New member, welcome! Yeah. Yeah, the new ma yeah, I know. Yeah, I hope in the next year to redo all the uh, the stream stuff, make the streams cooler for everybody watching. Working with a an artist friend of mine to do some cool stuff. Uh, ray tracing support or advanced visuals? I'm thinking. Um, I put things on high just because I'm superstitious about frame rate, but it looks like there's DLSS for Nvidia. I've noticed sometimes for me games on like high or epic, it's like epic does epic looks just a tiny like half percent better, but then it like tanks the frame rate sometimes for OBS. It kind of it mostly has to do with like YouTube. Sometimes we have to change stream settings based on like YouTube's pickiness. Like it'll make things look real muddy or pixelated or something. So it's like sometimes a game can look crisp and perfect for me, and then it looks like absolute muddy water on, on YouTube. Uh, yep, our invasions will start soon. We uh, After this, I think we're going to start building boats. So that'll be cool. And once we build this house, we'll build one more, and that should complete that goal, too. I actually kind of want to delete these houses and give them decent homes. L like, these look much better. But they all look nice. Okay, let's build one more home. Or actually, I guess we'll just kind of build them along here. Yeah, these the buildings in this game look great. They'd be perfect to build in Valheim or um, Vintage Story. Yeah, I would like an option to build without road. But does this charge us? Wow, it charges us for the road to scammed. I'll just build one then. Get that last one done, and then we got to do a windmill. Miguel, thank you very much for the one year as a rap a little raptor. Thank you very much for the big O support. Very nice of you. Thank you. Uh, probably production. Yeah, windmill. There we go. Calm down, Dutch people. It's just a windmill. Seen this before. 
I'll build our mill here and then more farm fields around it. How do you get silver? You sell food at the market. Or whatever they might want to buy. Lightning with tree? Kind of annoying. I guess it needs to be a little further away. That's as close as I can get it. All right. And then we need to produce bread. And then we need one more house. That house is building. Okay. Things are good. Yeah, the trees will regrow. They regrow really quickly. You don't need a forestry building at all, which is cool. Like you don't have to waste manpower on somebody just bending down to put a seed in the ground. And it seems like in this game, too, um, if you leave a few trees standing, they... I'm not sure if this is a thing or not. I'm probably wrong on it, but I, I just feel like if you leave a few trees standing, it helps to grow... The trees will grow faster around them. Vintage Stories, your new frustration. Yeah, we've been playing that on Uthras' server. If you guys want a game that um, has a lot of, like, survival building aspects, Vintage Story is a game that looks like Minecraft, but it plays like something otherworldly. With, like, having to nap tools, which means, like, banging two rocks together to basically make, like, knife handles and blades and spear tips and arrows and things like that. I want... I like it when games, that's what I liked about Farthest Frontier is that that game, in Farthest Frontier you had to build a Fletcher in order to supply the hunter with arrows and things like that. Like everything kind of had a production chain. Nothing was just kind of, I mean there's a few things that are magically supplied, but I like it when a game makes you make everything. Ropes and tools and, you know, like a thatchery in order to, you know, gather things and dry them for making roofs and things like that. It's cool. Do the assigned workers work on whatever project you have, or can you tell them what you want them to do specifically? You can prioritize things, like work, builders will build stuff, but you can tell them what one to work on first. But this is the type of game where everything takes a while to build anyway, even if you have a lot of workers. You know, it's just, just how it is. That's why I'm constantly telling them to cut down trees. But also, we don't want a lot of trees near our camp either, because we need that space to build in. I'll leave those. Uh, you can go on raids, and you can get raided. Oh, actually, I, I miscounted. We need one more house. My bad. I thought we had eight. Um, I think that there are earthquakes and there are lightning strikes in the game, but I'm not sure if it'll happen to trees. I think it just happens to your buildings. And we certainly need a lot of wood. Alright, so we're low on building supplies, so let's tell people to stop building and start gathering again. No, no, this is the uh, early access version of the game. The, the demo ended like af just after winter or before winter or something like that, but this is the early access version that's on Steam now. You joined the Discord? Welcome. 
What's up, Michael? Things are good for me. We need a Viking horn hat, yeah. Way to wear on streams. Oh, what is this? Trees that have been cut down will sprout again unless a construction is built in that area. Yeah, trees will keep regrowing unless you build a building near it. What's up, Muhammad? Yeah, this game's 20 bucks, but like 18 for the day one release. Which is Q. Ah, four more silver. Uh, we are now down to... Now ah, we're good. Supplies are low, but things are coming in, so that's good. Windmill just needs to be built, and one more house. Indrid Cold with the 37 months as an egg. Yeah, that's the, uh, well, 37, so probably 36, which is our first, uh, like, tier new member. <laughs> Welcome. The three endgame tiers. You're now two of three. Congratulations. Thanks for the big O support. 37 months. Wow. Wow. I forget the highest. I think it's 42. Oh, did somebody die? We suddenly need a worker here. Is there a way to tell somebody died of old age? Shouldn't have been a food. Oh, it was a work accident. Oh, a few people. Ooh. A couple people became adults. A couple people died to death. Uh-oh. Wow. F's in the chat, boys. F's in the chat. Someone else died of a workplace accident? Where was that? Construction? Wow. Well, that's what happens, I guess. People are just going to naturally die, no matter what you do. Villagers live and die... After the villagers die, you should assign new workers to replace them. Okay. Good thing it tells us that. That's good. Oh, also, uh, the longhouse. You can actually do stuff with the longhouse, too. So it gives you a little bit of stats on the uh, number of adults and children in the camp. And then also you can prioritize what you want them to do more of. So when you have workers who are on a sign of a job, but they're doing things like clearing land and gathering stone. If you really want them to gather stone before they cut down trees, you can change the priorities here. And then also we can hold a festival, which requires beer, food, and silver. And that'll be a way to lift their spirits. You see what I did there. Nice. Wow, we're only 11 days in, and this is what we've come up with? This is crazy. Oh. Cool how people walk around with torches and things like that. I like that. Usually in games, people will just kind of walk around in the dark. But here they actually carry a torch. I wonder if they'll put it out if they walk by a light source. 
be kind of cool if you actually lit all the paths in your town and then people would just kind of stop walking around with torches because they'd be able to see. There'd be no reason for that. That'd be cool. All right, let's keep uh, cutting down trees. Cool. 14 coins so we can connect the huses. There's a movement bonus for that, so it's important. I mean, you don't have to do it for every building. You can, you can always build close to a road, too, and then just kind of flush it up, but... I guess we're getting a lot less wood, too, because people have to walk a pretty long way to go get the... go to the tree store, you know, cut them down to the forest. Uh, well, some of those old, some of those villagers could have been older. Way to see. Well, actually, they were workplace accidents, so it's not like they were old age. Things happen. Alright, I'm going to try to decorate less now and save up money, because I'm sure it's going to be needed for our... Boats. We'll just try to build roads now, which will, it's an investment to the economy. Build a road, people speed up, more money. Good. Pretty. Yeah, we turned the uh, gamma up a little bit because YouTube seems to make videos and stuff darker. So hopefully, not too bright, but not too too dark. Aww. Yeah, um, as for the military units we can make, I'm not, I haven't really done much of the military or the boat making yet, so we're about to enter new territory. Um, mostly the demo ends by like kind of the end of the first year. Luckily, we're, we're really making good progress. It's not even the end of summer yet. And from here on out, I think the next thing is to make uh, boats. That should be cool. One tree. There we go. Yeah, weather will the weather will change with seasons, so it'll it'll rain soon. It's gonna rain, snow. All right, let's assign two people to building again. Good amount of materials coming in. We need more. More wood is needed, chat. More wood is needed. Uh, that's very nice of you, chat. Thank you very much to everybody smashing the like button. We're up to over uh, 400. That's very nice of you. And whoa, a crazy amount of people subscribing today. Demi, welcome aboard. Uh, Cezanne, thank you very much for subscribing. Darren, Nicholas, morning has broken. Thank you very much, guys, for all the subs. Crazy. Uh, you know what? In honor of so many people watching and chat being awesome, let's do a giveaway in the Discord. Anybody watching, you can join the Discord for free. Link's in the description after the stream. I'm going to drop some keys for some other awesome city builder games just for chat, for being awesome. Thanks very much. All part of my evil plan. 
What's up, Tyler? How you doing, man? Oh, good amount of wood coming in, too. That's good. And cash is flowing. Bum, 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 bum. What is... Oh, hungry. Better swing by the store. Look at all the bears! You know what be cool is if um, the game... I would like this option, the ability to like square an area and then just say cut down trees in this area would mature. Since there's not a forestry building, it'd be nice to tell them, hey, this will be our like tree farming area. Go ahead and cut down trees whenever. Actually, there's a ton of wood sitting here too. I wonder if this is all, if this counts here or if it has to be delivered first to count. Not sure. Uh, giveaways are in the general ch chat of the Discord. Once you join the Discord, there's just like a general chat, and I'll just drop keys in there. Other people drop keys all the time, too. It's not just me. Like, sometimes I'll make announcements that I'm going to do one, but other times people will buy, like, a Humble Bundle pack with a bunch of keys for games, and they'll want, like, a couple of them, but not all of them, and then they'll just come in and be like, giveaway, and then just drop a key. So if you want to do that, feel welcome. Like, no one's going to be mad at you for dropping a key. That's nice. It's a nice thing to do. Okay, one more house to, house to build. Where's our uh, objectives? There we go. Alright, so we're working on four more objectives. Um... Oh, cool. If you hold Alt, you can see what everything is. Oh, and how many people are working there? That's helpful. That's good. Um, how does raiding in the game work? Yeah, you can raid others and you can get raided. We're, we're taking a look at that now. We're kind of taking our first look at um, things past the demo, and we're about to reach that point. So... Things are about to start popping off. We're going to start making boats and ships and going on raids and building an army. It's going to take a second. And now we have our windmill. Good. Good. Nice, so the wheat can be stored right next to the windmill. Beautiful. All right, now we need got to uh, make first bread and finish the house. So we're almost there. And I think after this, they're going to want us to do boat making. So I guess we could lay out our... Oh yeah, and then the uh, military-related buildings are a war dock to build warships and then also a training camp for troops on the ground. So you can prepare like warships and also military ships. I don't mind spending money on roads. Roads? We need roads. Ooh. 
Ooh, hold on. Oh, okay, good. 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 Good, good. Soon, soon. What's up, XS? How you doing, man? All right, we're getting a lot of good uh, materials now. We should be able to finish up this last house pretty quickly. We take a look at jobs. Ooh, we can also keep track of how many ships we have, too. Nice. Oh, and buildings. Oh, you can manage all the buildings from here, too. That's nice. I like that. Excess with the 10. Thank you, dude. Appreciate the support, brother. Yeah. Oh, somebody must have died. Another workplace accident, probably. Let's do four people in the building now. All right, so we're going to make the fishing dock, and then we'll have fish, bread, berries, different types of fruits, probably mushrooms coming in, too. This game looks as chill as the channel. Nice. Yeah. Uh, we got a pretty chill community. For the most part, everybody here is uh, pretty cool. Myself included, I'd like to say. Bum, 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 bum. Absolutely. Uh, new game? Yeah, this one's uh, now newly in early access. You've probably seen it before on the channel. It, it did have a demo and an extended demo, too, but... It was never available until now. Oh yeah, the marketplace person died too. That's gonna be a lot to manage at a certain point if people keep dying of like workplace. Did, was it a workplace accident again? What? The person who worked at the market died at the workplace accident. What happened? Oh, they got They got to chill out on the constant workplace accidents. That should be a thing that happens mostly in, like, the mines and maybe, like, maybe people can die of military training or something like that, maybe. Yeah, you have to manually fill the buildings. Well, it's like how it is in Banished or whatever, where you can, you can assign people in the job list, and if they die, you have to... It's that same way in, uh, Found Eight, I mean, uh, Farthest Frontier, too. Yeah, they got crushed by cantaloupe. You know, a tremendous amount of zero bread fell on them. And they were stuck under gravity. Hey, the windmill's working nice. Now we just gotta wait on wheat, which looks almost ready to go. Looks like it's ready to harvest. The farmers are probably coming over to harvest. And the last house is getting built. Good. build another it feels like um, it's going to be a game where you want to have more houses than you need all the time because you never know if a random group of people are going to show up or somebody will have a child and people will move out Hey, Miss Meg, you're finally a yellow eye. Well, thank you very much for being a member for all that time. Thank you guys for all your, your memberships. Really cool. Very nice. Uh-oh, is chat hiding in a berry bush again? Chat, you get out here right now. You hide over there. Come on out. Come into the light. No. No. <laughs> Hey, what's up, Bayou? How you doing? Bayou's back in the chat. All right, so we're building a house and a fishing dock. Pretty much after these two things, we start to build our war fleet. Although, we probably want to spend the uh, ball maybe uh, 
letting all the trees grow back so we can get a big boost of wood. We might want to start making roads into the forest. Actually, that wouldn't be a bad idea to build a road like up here. To go all the way over here. There's lots of trees over here. Look at that. Wow. That would not be a bad plan. But we're going to need money. We're going to need money. We're broke. Going to have people buy more bread. I'd buy that for a dollar. Yeah, see? We should be able to build a hunter's lodge, too. I, th I think maybe make... Oh, that'd be a good way to make money. Selling clothes. We get a hunter's tent. We can then have someone tailor some leather shoes or whatever. That'd be cool. Uh, Bayou with the five bomb. Congratulations, chat. Five of you were just gifted some memberships. The member train is rolling. It's leaving the station. Make sure you guys have that membership button turned on to allow. Thank you. Awesome, man. Thank you very much. Member bombs in chat. Yeah. We need more food. Well, I guess that's why we're building the fishing dock and the bread thing. You know, it's weird. It doesn't... The windmill just... Grain becomes bread. I like how it's a bakery attached to the windmill. Like, the bakery or the windmill will turn it into flour and then it's just immediately used. But I feel like there should be a fuel cost here. A firewood or something. That'd be cool. We're on speed two. Let's go to speed three now. That can hold 250. Can we see how much this can produce? Well, if we're going to build a bigger field, we need money, so let's just hold off for a minute. What's up, Eduardo? Good, good to see you, dude. You're watching from South America? Thanks, man. Thanks for watching. The tree's blocking the wind. Oh, yeah. I don't mind, like, trees looking decorative, but these guys got to go. I like that tree. I want to keep that one. Oh, we're going to have to start charging a million dollars for bread. It's the only way. Uh, let's prioritize this house, actually. Winter's getting close, so... Get these houses done. And then... As we get closer to winter, we also need to make a firewood maker so we can get enough firewood to get through the winter. Keep things nice and spicy. What's up, Roderick? Welcome, dude. Nambia's in the chat, too. Woo, there goes a tree. I think when a tree falls down and there's not a log there, it means the worker was able to bring the wood back to... Or actually, maybe they bring it straight from the construction... Or the logging site to the construction site. Sometimes they leave logs, sometimes they don't. But regardless, more wood is needed, chat. More wood is needed. More wood is needed. That's right. Like, oh, hey, Raptor, uh, could you give me any tips for Land of the Vikings? Sure, dude. The first thing you should do is... Wood, wood needed. More wood, 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 my lord. Yeah. And then that's it. That's all you got to do. All right, good. We're starting to make some cash. I, I think the boats are going to take some money, so we better save up. Stronghold Crusader, best RTS ever. Stronghold games are solid, man. We I I started playing some this year. I think we did two streams on the campaign. Still haven't beaten it, but I... There's a full playthrough of Stronghold on the channel recently, as of like 2021, maybe, or 2020. So, um, go check it out. Stronghold, amazing game. I love that game so much. 
Oh, we gotta we gotta die to death. What happened? The crops are dead. Oh well, yeah, they do that. Wait, what happened? Farmers. What happened? Wait, it's autumn. Shouldn't that be prime harvest season? What the? Wait, do you have to click harvest manually? Oh no. I thought that was just an early harvest button. You gotta be kidding me. Alright, luckily this game does allow you to plant bread multiple times a year. Or, well, flour. Wheat. You know what I mean. You can plant crops multiple times. It's 25 per field? What the? Sag. Alright, note to self, you might have to manually order fields to be harvested. That's interesting. Well, let's get this guy off that job then. Until we have more crops to harvest again. You think it just needs to be toggled on? Really? Hmm, I don't see a toggle. Not sure. Yeah, I don't I don't know if we're supposed to manually harvest. I thought that button was there just in case like you were getting close to winter and you were just you weren't going to get a lot of yield, but it's better than getting zero. Oh well. That's okay. I'm not that madge. We make another field though. I think we should make two. Because we can store a lot of grain. So apparently it's 25 silver to build a field. So then like what determines how big a field can be? We have 25 silver, though, right there. And it won't let me click. Hmm. Now we just gotta reach 40 villagers, so that'll just take time for people moving in. I wonder, is there a tutorial for farming? It kinda... People are giving birth like crazy though, wow. We have 32 adults and 9 children. You love RTS survival games? You need one that's deep in first person like Medieval Dynasty? Uh, Vintage Story? That's a good one. We played that recently on the channel. You literally have to, like, if you need a knife, you have to literally find two rocks to bang together, like a caveman. I still can't make more farm fields, even though we have 25 silver. Huh. Could make another uh, gathering hut, though. That might be a good idea. Although that's probably not going to work for us in the winter. Actually, wait a minute. What about a hunting? Probably need to put the hunter somewhere in the forest. Yep. It needs trees.
So it might be a good idea to like let a hunter be here so they can take the shortest amount of trips back to town, which increases our food, and then build a road up top to then go cut down trees over here. Maybe we need 26. Well, now we have 29, so let's try to do the farm fields one more time. Uh, worst case scenario, though, we'll just need to fish. Oh, it costs money? Okay. Looks like it's 25 silver for like each side of a of a square or a rectangle. That's really expensive. Well, luckily the farming's going okay. We should be able to harvest before the end of the year. Got to do it manually. I guess that's what that symbol above the top meant, but I just thought that meant ready to harvest and that the workers would be there soon to do it. But the more you know, you know? Yep. Ah, eh, we could always Uber eat some food over too. Yeah, we need them hunteds. Yeah, the game launched into early access today, so we'll have a video on the channel in a little while to cover a little bit more of the features and stuff in a greater detail. But for this stream, we're actually about to see, like, military-level stuff go on. So we're going to start um, building an army. All right, I think we can fish off the edge of the dock, and then we can also get boats. We can make up to four. So I think we can have five people working there. One will fish on the dock, and then four other people will go out into the water. So fishing will be good. But we'll find out more about the game as we go. Doing it live. Alright, more trees cutting. Yep. Good, good. Cutting down them trees. Person doesn't have a home? Are you kidding me? We need more houses? Um, I guess we'll build one more there. They wanted me to build eight homes and then get up to 40 villagers. Well, we need more than eight then. How many can be in a house? Like a married couple and then children. Okay. Uh -huh. Food's looking a little light, but everybody's got it in their house. Cattle ranch, goat ranch. Well, the, the one silver that we paid for the house is for the little road that the game automatically attached from the house to the, to the road we already built. But yeah, the farms are crazy expensive. But the uh, buildings all take resources. I guess that's why the farms are free of resources, because they take money. We don't have to pay wood for the fence around it. Oh, we got a brewery, though. 
Which is why we should build that second field, so that way we can alternate between wheat and barley. That'll probably make some money, too. Nice. Oh, chicken coops too. Might need grain to feed them though. Mm, lol. Don't forget hops for the beer, yeah. Well, we might be able to make mead if we can get an apiary. Which again, I'm still confused as to why monkeys are needed and primates for the gathering of honey. I just, I don't understand why they keep putting that into games. Go figure, huh? All right, this is 50%. I think if trees continue to regrow, it'll increase that. Let's try a hunting lodge. That probably could be year round. Zero? You know, actually, we got a couple points in the Tree of Life. Let's see what we can get. Uh, we need three to do mining, so all right, we should hold on to that. Mining will be the next thing. Let's speed up even more. Let's go. There's not bears in the game chat. The developer, I, I bribed the... Hold on. Dev's in the chat. Yeah, thanks for not putting uh, bears in the game. There, there you go. Thank you. Perfect. Thank you for taking bears out of Land of the Vikings. Available now on PC. Thanks. You see chat? No bears. There's Bjorns, but no bears. How many people are working construction? Two? Four? Let's do five. You know what would be nice, though, is if the people who were building immediately became... I'm I'm not sure, but I feel like most games, including this one, should do a thing where it's like... If you have workers who do general tasks like uh, mining stone and cutting down trees... I feel like once they're done... Once they're done doing all the building, like if you have 10 builders, they should all just become regular workers. So that way if you build something again, you can have your workforce like switch between full worker or building. And then, you know, once the building's done, they can go back to gathering resources. Or making them full-time uh, workers too, like forcing the differences. By right, this time we're going to have to harvest the crops. I hope we make it before winter. If not, we'll just kind of have to scrape by. Apparently we need like 56 silver for that. I want to make a big old farm field. What we'll do is this. We'll make this our initial field for wheat. And then when we need to, we'll change it to barley for beer. And then we'll just do a big old wheat field for bread. Big -o. Reminder. This is a bear-free environment. True. Food's still coming in. I'm hoping trees regrow so I can set up a closer food source. We need like hunting, fishing, gathering.
Seems like it takes into account all the natural structures, so like rocks and trees. Now that we know that, it might be a good idea in the future to leave a nature reserve area somewhere nearby. We'll figure it out. Okay. Well, before the game tells us to do this, let's make our woodshed. Should have told us already. I actually probably will first day of winter. Should be too late. Yay. All right, another house is done. That's good. So we got homes for everybody. Oh, there we go. Ah, oh, you have to hit a harvest button. I can't believe it. I mean, that's like... That's like, uh, I don't know, telling the hunter to then, like, take the shot. Uh, like, imagine approving everybody about to do their job. Like, hey boss, I found a fish, and the fish is biting on my hook. Should I set the hook? Like, why would I want to not harvest? Winter is coming. A harsh winter is coming. Harvest your fields. Prepare the clothes until last summer. Oh, last until summer. Our goal, that's our goal now, is to survive till winter is over and spring is here. Okay, so free laborers will work at the work sh the woodshed. So, so long as you have somebody assigned to labor, you don't have to assign anybody to work at the workshed. It's automatic so long as you have unassigned workers. Well, we got six people ready to harvest fields, so... Can they plan for the next season in advance? All right, wool production. Get a goat ranch, assign a shepherd, and get 10 wool. Goat ranch for wool. Okay. Um, I'm actually going to make a boat yard first. Now, we need four more points to unlock the shipyard. Okay. That'll help us with fishing. But we need more points. More fame. Oh good, we're making bread now though. I hope it's one to one. Oh good, and there's a hundred grain in the uh, wheat grain. Okay, so that field made over a hundred grain. That's not bad. How do you get those points? Um, let's see if it tells us. Tree of Life Point. Tree of Life Points are earned by increasing fame. The fame required for a new point is 1,400. We currently have 1,320. So it's things like... Um, shows the size and the strength of the village obtained by completing objectives, increasing the village population, and by various events. Oh boy, it's snowing. First winter, here it comes. See if we can survive. Bum, bum, bum. 153. Alright, let's make another field for next year. Oh. 
That's going to be so hard to build that. I can't even see anymore. The ground is so snowy. Gotta look good. We want it to look good. Luckily, I think we have enough um, bread to last, or grain to make enough bread to last through the winter. Not too bad the first year. Because of the populations being lower. Nice. Wait, can we still plan? Well, we'll we'll, we'll see if we can we'll see if we can sneak by. Resist, resist decorating. We need money for boats or roads. Oh, okay, so they will die. All right, so because of the season, the fields will die. I, I don't like how the farming is uh, manual. Like you're the one who has to like plan the farms and stuff. It's like, ooh, that's cool. When the people walk, they'll make paths through the snow. Oh, about a half pentagram right there, almost. Hmm. I think farming also requires wells, doesn't it? Water for fields and people. Build some more wells. Oh no, they can't overlap. Oh. Now, once this is done, we'll try to build ships. I think that's why they want us to do wool production, is to make sails. Or eventual shipbuilding. make sacrifices? I think so, yeah. I believe you can make sacrifices in the game. Or at least statues? or uh, There's something to do with that. There might be tributes you can do. Maybe not necessarily um, sacrifices, but maybe tributes to certain gods and things. Hopefully we can make it through this winter all right. Food seems to be holding. I wonder if uh, productivity of the gatherer's hut drops in winter. Oh yeah, this is this is at 50% too. All right, I guess our goal now is to let trees regrow around the camp so we can try to keep gathering buildings closer so they can constantly provide food.
Hmm. Building the well. Nice. Um, Woodshed is produced. Oh, that, that we already built. Stone cutter mine. Blacksmith tailor stone pit. Oh, so stone pit to stone cutter. Dude, the lighting looks pretty nice. I feel like we should build another home just in case. I feel like we're going to have a group of people show up or at least need it for eventual expansion. Build one more house here. Yeah, I'll let it build. Seems like roads are better afterwards. Oh, 500 likes. Thanks, chat. That's awesome. Thank you to all you guys smashing the like button. Hey, Justice Dilemma. Uh, knowing that he's not like everybody else, CB is being beaten by the village bullies while t uh, talking madly in the village square. The duty of these tyrants is to protect the rights and dignity of every citizen, but the public is divided on what to do with the crazy villager. Most of the villagers are fed up with what he's talking and doing what he... Oh. What he's talking and doing. Want this man to be exiled, while others want the bullies to be suppressed so that they can no longer bully anyone. If he should be exiled, if he sh seeks compensation for wounds inflicted by a tyrannical com commune formed by the lack of security. The hell? Wait. I don't even think we can build secure... What? A police station? CB should be exiled, leaving behind tearful family. CB becomes disabled and 25 silver is paid. Wait, what? A crazy man... is talking in the town. And people don't like it, so they're bullying him, so the options are to exile him or give him money? And if we give him money, he'll become disabled, or we banish him. What? The, he's got a kid. What the? Or does he pay twenty-five? What? No, we paid. Oh, that's confusing. Oh, that's a that's weird. However, dealing with that situation could give us points for the tree of life, so we need more. Yeah, it's like. Uh, Yeah, the option, it's like, uh, hey, Grandma accidentally, uh, backed into somebody's, uh, bicycle at the birthday party, tipping it over, and it's slightly scratched. Uh, punishments are build, construct a rocket to launch Grandma into the, uh, sun, or summon a demon from the shadow realms to then possess Grandma to then take over and grow to 40 times her size, like in Honey, I Blew Up the Kids with Rick Moranis and take over Las Vegas. Like... Why are those up? Why are those options? Why are those the two? It's like uh, nuclear war times ten or uh, Alderaan times a thousand. Like what? Why are those two options like that? Like an extreme Judge Judy case. We need another house. I knew it. I knew we would need another house. It's like as soon as a house is completed, just build another house. I 
Oh wait, we'll wait until that's done. Right, let's build some roads to the fishing dock. Food's important. complete. Alright, how are we doing on bread? There's 36 grain left. So it just needs to be transported to the windmill. Let's put another person in the windmill to transport. Make uh, bread faster. What is that? Uh, this is a minefield. Oh. Already? They should probably reword that. Uh, mines are located on the feet of the mountains. Iron and coal mines can be identified by their stone structures. Oh, so which one is this? Stone, I would imagine. We can build a stone quarry over there. Yeah, so we're going to have to build roads far away from our village for certain things. Hovor Snacker Dunorsk. Uh, hey. Yugtela Svenska. Yeah, we're going to have to get a uh, bomb specialist over there to clear that area. Clearly the Danes were up to something. Can't trust them. Bomb, bomb, bomb. More homes again? Bruh. Okay, I guess every two people need a home. Or, I guess, if they're not, um... Hmm. If they're not, like, together, I guess they each need their own home. Anyway, we're building these nicer homes, though, because they use way less um, firewood. Still going to need a lot, though. So we get even better homes. Bumblebee tuna. No firewood or coal heating the house. Well, you gotta go make some. Wait, does this mean there's 56 stacked up here? They just have to go pick it up then. Wait, oh, okay. I'm not sure how that works. So they don't get firewood from the marketplace, they get it from the fire the woodshed, okay. Interesting. Is it connected with a road? Eh, not really. Hopefully they're able to get the wood they need.
When do we unlock the Blood Eagle? Uh, soon. Let's build a... Another house. Good. Music's nice. Kind of reminds me of the music in Banished. Yeah, loud winter crickets. That's that's actually true. I didn't even think about that, but you're right. That should be changed. Oh, look at the variety of houses, though. We built the same house type a few times, but they do have different... Um, they're slightly different. These ones have ladders. This one has like a little window on the roof. This one has like a stairwell, kind of. Food's becoming a problem, but there are fish. And we can still make more bread. To be fair, I blame the whole, like, manual farming system, like, I don't think I've ever seen that before. Now let's do gathering. Yeah, I'm getting excited to see the warships and stuff. We're, we're close to actually building, like, a fleet and an army. At least having one, like, one troop or something. Okay, I'm just gonna go ahead and build the, uh, Herbalist here. I mean, the gather. We gotta have something. There's 54 wood there. How does this house not have firewood? Go pick it up. There is not a forester building in the game. The forester building is not a thing in this game. Yeah, that'll be good. All right, I might end up deleting that road, but we'll see. Another house getting complete. As soon as that house is done, we gotta build another one. We're getting closer to the 40 population, though. Wasn't I going to announce something at 500 likes? You're right. I said thank you for it, and then kind of it slipped my mind. So, anyway. We hit 500 likes. Thanks, chat. That's a big announcement. Thank you very much. Appreciate that. 
Surprise, we did it. <laughs> Alright, I'm kidding, I'm kidding. Alright, so the big announcement. It's 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 pretty cool to me anyway. This morning I woke up to a message. Somebody DM'd me. It's somebody that I follow on Twitter and they followed me back, and it's for a game that it's pretty cool. We played quite a few times on the channel. Long story short, the uh, head lead designer of uh, Dave the Diver wants to put me into the game. And so that'll be yet another game where Raptoria slash me gets into, which is pretty sweet. So if you get Dave the Diver, you might notice me as one of the, uh, one of the staff members. I'm not going to be like a main character like Duff or Cobra or anything like that. At least, not at the moment. But I'm going to be one of the wait staff or uh, one of the... Um, you can hire me as like a chef or wait staff. And they uh, said that they're going to make the character wear like a dinosaur mask. Like a raptor mask. So you'll be able to uh, hire me in Dave the Diver. Which has like 2,000 overwhelmingly positive reviews. And when I saw that this morning, I was like, damn, I'm so glad that that game has been like taken off because it's it's really fun it's such a kooky fun cool game it's more than just like a sushi restaurant simulator and that's cool oh, i like it so anyway yeah big w for us i mean chat you guys are in uh every single one of you who've subscribed to the channel are, are credited in gas station sim for helping out to make that a better game before that launched and uh there's there's many other games too like um a developer for a game called, uh, I, f I forget the exact name of it again, it's like something Extinction or something. They saw me play and then they put the Raptor logo on a bunch of ships and they're like, can I put this in the game? Like, I'm the game dev, I took your logo and put it in the game, can I use it? And it's like, sure man, that's, that's awfully nice. I don't know what to say other than gee, thanks. So yeah, that's the big news, I'm getting married. <laughs> nah, I'm just kidding. If you missed it, I'm just in Dave the Diver, that's all. Or I will be. A character at some point. Alright, more food. Hungry. I wonder if there's a way to see how much food the buildings are actually making. Humble brag? It is a little bit of a brag, yeah. But I think that's really nice that... Um, I think the coolest thing about that, though, is that dev teams are very respectful of content creators which are basically just trying to like have fun and, and hang out with you guys too or the fans of the games too so it's like it's like a whole mutual circle of respect it's like they make the game which is very challenging to do we play the game which is like very fun to do and then people who also want to play can choose to get it or not if they do they can give feedback and then the devs can listen to that i mean speaking of this game for example land of the vikings like because this is early access there's no other time in history that we've then we've been able to give the most amount of feedback to the de development of a game. So it's pretty cool that if there's something going on in a game like Victoria 3 or Land of the Vikings and there's stuff that you love and you want to praise them for and being like, "Dude, that's really cool that you did that." Like that develop like do more of that in this game. Or if there's something you don't like and that you think should change or you could provide alternatives and be like, "Hey, how about you know, Manor Lords for example is doing this. The developer of Manor Lords it's basically just tweeting out all the time of different pictures of how he wants the church to look. And it's like, would you guys like it if instead of just building one church, you could like build the church in upgraded tiers? Or do you guys want to do the church as like four separate buildings? And then he just does like a poll and then people just vote on it right there. And I'm sure it listens to Discord feedback and stuff like that. To then give everybody options on what they want to happen in the game. And then it's like, no, we want the church to be like... You know, you can build the church and then upgrade onto it or something, and then that's what happens. So, it's pretty cool. So instead of people, like, just having to do it because that's the way it's done, you can, you know. It's pretty cool, I guess. Alright, we need more food. I... I think the only other way we're going to get food is the gathering hut over here. Hmm. 
Will you replay Dave the Diver once you're in the game? Oh yeah, we'll be playing Dave the Diver when there's more content available. They're working on it, so... What are those red docks? Oh, dots. Uh, these just mean they're low on food or... Or they're sad. Sag. I tried to do the food problem earlier. We kind of got stunlocked, but I made a farm. And I didn't realize in the game you have to give the order to tell them to harvest the crops. I've never seen it in a game before where you... Like, oftentimes you have to tell the farmers what to plant there. So, like, wheat or barley or green beans or whatever. But this is, like, the only game I can think of between Donna Man, Farthest Frontier, Foundation, Ostrave, where you have to give farmers the order to harvest when it's harvest time. You have to hit a button to tell them to harvest. Otherwise, it just dies. It's like, why, why would you do that? Like you don't tell the uh, lumberjack to then... Like, you can give the order to tell the people to cut down a tree, but once they get to that tree... They don't ask for, like, a second approval. I don't know. So, that, speaking, going back to the feedback thing I was just talking about, that's something that could definitely change. All right, let's go ahead and get rid of these farmers. It's winter. Just get everybody on building. We might have some people die to death due to the weird button thing. I, I've, never, I've never seen that in a game before. We have to, like, give the order to harvest. Like, sometimes you can give an order for an early harvest, like, in Surviving the Aftermath. Like, when a... If a... Like, if nuclear fallout is coming, you can have all the people harvest the plants before the toxic waste cloud comes over the town, and you can try to salvage as much of the food as possible. So even if, like, the potatoes are not fully grown, they can still be eaten. They just won't be, like, full yield. So it's, like, a good emergency option, but... I don't want to do that. Unless I have to. Yeah, there's fishing. We have a fishing dock. Only one person can uh, fish at the end of the dock. We have to make boats. But in order for us to make boats, we have to get a new skill point. So we need 1,400 fame. Right now we have 1,375. And fame is granted by... Uh, random events popping up in the game. So we just gotta kinda either wait or... I think it's also based on population, so... What, 38? We're, get, we're getting there. Yeah, that's one thing I'd recommend to change right away, because it's just standard in these games for farmers to automatically farm. But as you guys know, standard, uh, it is Scandinavian lore that until somebody clicks the harvest button, Swedish, Danish, Norwegian, all the farmers of Scandinavia can't, can't do it until the, there's like a ceremony for it, you know. The great harvest button press. Yes, Keck W. Uh, has the game referenced any Nordic gods or goddesses? Yep, you can build... Um, we haven't gotten there yet, but there is a way to make shrines somehow. Ah, here it is. You can make totems to Odin, Freyda... Uh, Odin, Freya, Thor, and Tyr. And there's probably going to be more stuff to that. Hmm. Oh, we're still... Wait... Wasn't there six grains sitting here for the longest time? Are they not making bread?
shouldn't take that long. It's been like a month <laughs> to make one loaf of bread. Okay, cool. We'll get more people gathering food then. I think it could be a one-to-one -one ratio for bread, yeah. I just I don't see a production uh, wheel there. That'd be another nice thing to see is how long it takes for something to actually be made. We're going to have big problems in this town just because of that one button press, seriously. Because we could have bread stacked up, but we also need more... Uh, Food variety, so I, I'd like to do a hunting hut too, but it's kind of far away. Although it could be more productive in the summer months too. But well, let's build a uh, hunting lodge out here. And I guess we'll try to cut down trees only that are here. All right, cool. We got 40 population. Good. Time to go fishing. Build a shipyard. Assign a shipbuilder. Okay. Good. Now we can do fishing. All right. Now we're going to start making boats. This means we can start making all sorts of ships. Warships. More fishing docks. Find a boat to the fishing hut. Yep, all right. Make that building a priority. Got to get fishing. Yeah, the bread is made at the windmill, so I'm assuming they make... They make uh, wheat into flour and then make it into bread right in the same spot. It's like a two-in-one. Can't you guys tell by this completely empty building on the inside that that's what it does? I, th I thought it was obvious. Yeah, so one person can stand on the dock to fish, but then... We can also assign four other people to fish, too. So one person could be on the dock, and then four boats can be out there. So each fishing dock could give five workers. So five, five opportunities for fishing. Oh, we got an event. Newcomers will arrive in your village. Well, feel free to join, because I feel like people are going to die to death. That means another home, doesn't it? I'm just going to have to build a ton of houses. They're just needed all the time. But, shipyard should be priority so we can get people building boats. Make them camp outside. Yeah, we're not really going to have much of a choice, are we? Do goats give food or wool? Um, They might give milk. And then we might be able to slaughter them at a certain point. Oh, 
people are all sad. They're cold and hungry. Wait. We set a limit to 60 firewood and they made 72. I don't know how this works. Enter the value for the maximum production. If the value is zero, production continues until the storage is full. I guess do that then, because we're going to have a lot of houses. Well, here, let's make it... Let's double it. Let's go 120. And then people can come over and make tons of firewood. I don't know why they don't just order Uber Eats. I don't get it. Is there another building that has to be put in for them to grab it? I don't think so. I think they just... I mean, I don't know where they would get it from. Uh, firewood can be produced by cutting from the log, can be used for heating. I can see it in their houses, so they must just go to that building to pick it up directly. Which means that we should probably, you know, keep that building near the town too, so... Don't, don't build it too far away from the town. You're going to end up with what we call a bad time. Hey, look at that. The shipyard is almost done. Oh, that's going to be cool. They're going to build... Oh, this is going to be phenomenal. They're going to build the boat up high and then push it right into the... Uh, into the old bay. Sweet. And then when our Viking raiders come in back and forth, they'll go right through there. That's going to look so cool. Oh, baby. One in the chat, if you're excited. Me too. Very excited. Very nice. Oh, man. Bump, 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 bump. Okay, so they just need... Oh, this is the next stage of construction for the shipyard. So now it takes an additional 72 timber and way more wood. Wow, that takes so much material. Wow. Oh. Keep mining out the rocks. We're going to need it. Might be a good idea to change the color of cutting down trees and stuff to yellow or red. Kind of hard to see the uh, stuff in winter for some people, maybe. Well, we're almost through the winter. Her buddy is hungry. The villagers are unhappy. The villagers are unhappy. The people are on the verge of revolt. If this goes on like this, the villagers will leave one by one. I promise it will get better. Yes, it will. We got this. Uh, if you change yellow to red, the colorblind would complain they can't see it. Well, that's a good point, too. We certainly want to be accessible for everybody. So maybe an option to change all the alerts from choose the color. Or have a... Then the game might have a colorblind mode, too. That's becoming, like, almost a standard feature now, which is good. It's like subtitles being on by default in a lot of games, or at least the option to turn them on and have, like, full, vibrant subtitles where it, like, colorizes each character and that kind of thing. Which is good. Love it when AAA games try to be as successful as accessible as possible. That's really cool. Because watching games is one thing. Playing them is a whole nother, whole nother game. Yeah, I don't think we can upgrade buildings. Uh, these smaller houses that we started with, I don't see an option to actually build the nicer houses out of them. So what we'd have to do is, in the spring, we could like delete those houses and then just build new, higher quality ones. Which will save us firewood. Which I guess is why the wood number plummeted. But honestly, I think we want a ton of firewood standing by.
But we are building our dock, and we can build warships here, I think. We'll be able to see what the costs of boats are, and... Oh boy. Build over them? Now nah, I think we'll have to demolish. I, I don't think demolishing is instantaneous either. I think somebody comes over to deconstruct. And apparently if we deconstruct a building that has something stored in it, we lose the materials too. So if we destroy a home that's got a lot of food in it, goodbye to the food. Oh, as we complete the goals, we also get money. I think that's iron, maybe? And 100 fame. We could do the goat ranch, but I want to put all the stuff into boats. Yeah, we might be able to upgrade. Yeah, you might be right. Like, right now we're just building, like, three different tiers of the low-tier house. I kind of like that, how there's multiple options for the low-tier. And then that means maybe the higher tiers will have multiple options, too. It's pretty cool. Oh, dear. At this point, I say oh dear so much, I think we need an oh dear emote. It needs to be a deer poking its head out of a letter O. Bum, 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 bum. Uh, it's day 27. You have soon gone through in an in-game year. Uh, well, I noticed a day-night cycle, which I think... I think it works like how it does in Medieval Dynasty, but I'm not sure. It's like each day represents a month, and then there's three months per, year, per season, and then four seasons per year. But it could just be kind of cool. Yeah, every NPC, that symbol above their head means that there's somebody watching that didn't hit the like button and they're mad about it. They're really upset the chat. Now, I, I'm okay with it, and you guys can do as you'd like, but these people are real mad at you, and I don't know why. But I'd do, I'd do, what, they, I'd do what they want. These are Vikings here. Or it's hunger, yeah. One of the two. I'm not sure. <laughs> Lol. Yeah, they're going to go berserk mode and hop on a boat. Actually, everything's been delivered now, so they just need to build the actual shipyard now. And then we can start making boats. It's going to be sweet. And apparently there's a way to keep track of the boats, too, so... We can actually, like, have multiple ships working. I mean, we can have trade ships. We can have, in like, ships for invasion and raids. And then we can also have boats for fishing, which is pretty cool. I'm glad that one building does it all rather than having to have, like, a small boat thing, a medium-sized boat thing. It's like, uh, just have the big thing do the smaller job. Very long winter. Yeah, it's almost over. It's almost over. We're almost at the end of winter. Also, we prioritized the shipyards. So they shouldn't be doing any of these other buildings. Maybe we should put everybody back on resource gathering. Yeah, let's do that. We'll put two people on building. Hopefully they prioritize the main building. 
Yeah, everybody's cold and hungry. As a big FYI, guys, if you play this game, make absolutely sure that you know what we didn't know, which is that fields have to be manually harvested, which means that when you go to a field, it's your typical, like, where, where this cancel sign is, you click there to select wheat, then you have to click plant, so that way they'll plant that, but then when the harvest season, when it's ready to harvest, there'll be like a little, like a sickle button or a symbol above it, then you have to manually give the order to harvest, otherwise the farmers don't harvest. So the number of farmers that you dedicate to a field will affect how quickly that it is prepared for growing, as in like planting and fertilizing and all that stuff, watering. But then you still have to wait. You can at least cut down on the human aspect of it, of getting all the crops in the ground, or the seeds. And then the harvest time can be faster based on the number of farmers, but they're... Yeah, they won't do anything without like an order to do so. Now I didn't see a barn or anything. The only real farming building is like the windmill and the little granary. Which, they're still on, is that glitched? They're still on six grain. They should have made that, unless it's like, oh no. Don't tell me it's like 10 to one. Maybe that's it. Maybe it takes like 10 grain. To make one bread or something. Oh no. It's not one to one then. Nor is it like two to one or three to one. Oh my, oh boy. Oh well. What happens with the first playthrough? You just don't know. Can't be match. Oh, we can't get up there. My mistake. We can't cut down the trees up there? Is that out of bounds? No firewood or coal for heating the homes. 108 is here at the woodshed. I guess that just means they have to go pick it up. Oh, this is going to take 100 dressed stone. I didn't realize there was another tier to this. Hold on. My bad. I thought it was just going to take stone and wood. I'm going to make a stone cutter then. Wait a minute. Stone cutter takes... And this is done in two phases, too. So to build the foundation, it's four logs and 15 stone, then another six and 40. Oh, my God. Well, let's do this. All right, let's check food production. This, another thing, this person has, I don't think that this person has ever caught a fish at all, even when it was summer. Like they must have been bringing in fish. I can't imagine it just being zero. You have 18 people not doing anything? Incorrect. Laborers who are unassigned transport goods, cut assigned trees and stones. So we have 18 people that are out mining and also cutting down trees and transporting things to construction sites. And we need those materials to build the building that we just ordered, the stone cutter. Labor doesn't mean stay at home and do nothing. Fishermen are not happy with the newcomers. Some wait, fishermen? You mean the the one lady who maybe c catches a fish, but I can't tell. <laughs> Some of the locals are offended by the new arrivals and complain to you. They say that the fish escaped because newcomers washed all their belongings in the lake. Fishermen complain about not being able to catch fish for this reason. Newcomers say there's nothing else they can do. Fishermen are constantly washing clothes in the sea. We can't fish. They're only losing money because of them. We won't even have enough fish to eat if this goes on like this. Strangers, we don't have a lot, a lot of stuff. That's why we have to use the sea to clean. Fishermen should be patient. 
Uh, use the water well. Forbid washing clothes in the sea. Newcomers will be hot, permanently unhappy. All right, well, the fishermen should be patient. It's one lady, so deal with it. If we tell them to wash the clothes in the well, that could be that that's going to cause disease. Don't tell me they're all the way over there. Making the hunting thing. They're all the way over there making the hunting thing. Yep. I knew it. Alright, well thank goodness it is spring coming. Almost TM. Wish we had more money to make another farm field. Yeah, that lady couldn't catch fish, so she's blaming everybody else. No, it's because uh, those guys over there, like, dude, they wash their pants over here. Scaring off the fish. Ma'am, you've had six months. Catch a fish. Now she's finna to catch hands. Alright. Oh, building the house when I prioritize the stone cutter. It happens so often in these city builders, too, where you'll... You'll build like three houses and a sawmill. You'll tell the sawmill to be top priority, and then next thing you know, the houses are completely built. Spring is coming. Uh, the snow melted. Mother Earth threw off her cover and began to breathe once again. The birds were dancing in the air, nesting among the newly bloomed flowers and trees. Undoubtedly, the spring had come to our lands once more. Good. Hey, what's up, Demon Pool? How you doing, dude? Welcome to the stream, man. We want trees to regrow over here. Also, you can't tell what the efficiency of the gathering hut is after you build it. Like, you can plop it down, but I feel like depending on what trees are around, that's going to increase or decrease. Oh, there's Fritz from Manor Lords. He's out inspecting, making sure everything's good. He made it through winter, no problem. Not a single complaint from Fritz about food or firewood or clothing or happiness. Yeah, the winter was a little weird. Like, you hear crickets and stuff in the winter, which is like, hmm... But that's just something we'll have to give feedback on and say, yeah, hmm. I don't know about that. Okay, so now that it's spring, it could be a good time to switch over to farmers and... I don't know if it's too early. I, th I think we can just do it like first day of spring. Let's do ten, so we'll have five and five. And then we'll reactivate the mill whenever they're done. 
Snow crickets are a thing. Is that is that really a thing? I mean, you probably... I would not be surprised. And then we can build our first warships, finally. Snow crickets are called snickets. That reminds me of Snickers, the candy. Hmm. Delicious. All right, well, hopefully after this uh, spring, people will uh, no longer be on the uh, Land of the Vikings diet plan. Oh, also, it looks like the Gatherer brings in herbs, too, so that's good for the Doctor. We want speed here. Okay, fruits are gathering over there again. Nice. And hopefully that'll be the case here soon, too. All right, to be honest, I feel like the fishing hut should just be able to make its own boats. Because to make this massive structure to make the little tiny boats is, like, a little excessive. It should be able to help if you need, like, an extra boat. You just assign them to do it, but... Fritz is inspecting the crops. Fritz, do we have your approval? Give us the old head nod if it's good. Just checking everything out. Oh, good thing we hired so many people. Seems like they do three or four spaces of the farm and then jump back to the uh, village to go take a little snack. Uh, a fika. You sound a bit annoyed by the game? Oh, there's some things that I think could change. I mean, it's early access, so there's a few things I think could be different, but not annoyed. I think there's room for improvement in anything, except for my channel. It's perfect in every way, and you should subscribe or become a member today. Okay, well, we certainly we have food. Food is in the in the market. Oh, look at him going. It's like when a new, uh, like when a Chick-fil-A or a Popeye's or a Wendy's opens up for the first time in your town. And there's a line around the block. Alright, some food is coming in here too. You know, I wonder if spring also makes it so that way. It'd be cool if the months got different bonuses, like in the spring trees would grow by faster or something. And in the fall, maybe there'd be more things for the gatherers to gather. Or like s summer and fall, there would be more berries and more mushrooms and things for them to gather. That'd be cool. Each season would give like a different bonus. What's up, Kadir? How you doing? Dark chocolate is healthy. I, I like myself some dark chocolate. Every once in a while, every once in a while, um, I'll remember to like buy a little bar of dark chocolate and I'll just have it with my coffee in the mornings. Any wolves? Nope, haven't seen wolves or bears in the game yet, so... Chat hates it. They want bears. Alright, now we can finally make some uh, rest stone, aka polished stone. So they'll take regular stone and turn it into dressed. We need a hundred for the... Yeah, we need a hundred for the shipyard. I hope it's a one-to-one -one ratio. I would imagine. 
But if there's more stone around, we better mine that. We're going to need it. And we're going to have to start building a stone mine. Apparently we can build a stone quarry here, so once we're out of the surface stuff, we'll build a permanent mine. Get a little bit more into specifics. The bears are watching over the hills? Yeah, they're... They do that thing where when bears stand, except they're actually holding, like, binoculars. Well, there he is. We gotta get him. Here he is, guys. He's in Land of the Vikings. Oh, man. The carpenter dies, like, every 20 minutes. I think that's going to have to be chilled out a bit. The carpenter... People die so often in workplace accidents. I guess it... We get a good amount of people moving into the town, too, so I guess that kind of evens out, but it's just like... Your life expectancy at the sawmills, like, two days. This must be for coal. The so coal is here, I think, and then stone is here. I think that's maybe limestone or lime that we can get from there. I don't know what that would be for, though. Is it harvest time? Uh, not quite yet. Got to get to here. So we have we have until this to harvest. Do I have a graveyard? Uh, yeah. I built it over here. Yeah, all, all that. Yo, Buyak100, what's up, dude? Welcome to the Big O Streams, man. Uh, these symbols are people being hungry. Food's starting to come in. They just need to go to the market to buy their stuff. Oh my god. I, that bit, why would that building... Why would you automatically leave a building off when it... Man. <sighs> That's another thing that should change. Buildings should be automatically on when you assign people to them, and then you have the option to close them, which will just fire the workers, which would be fine, because then they just become more, uh, laborers again. Okay, now also... Crops ready to be harvested, but according to this bar, they're still growing. So we we don't want to harvest yet? This is misleading. It's like, dude, you should totally harvest. Except clicking on the field reveals that it's not at maximum yield. So it's like, it's ready. We could harvest it, but also, if we wait, it'll it'll be good. Well, at least happiness is up, way up from where it was. There are no active farmers. I mean, the nine that we hired are not active? I guess they're not actively on the field, but yeah. You can harvest it for a lesser yield if the bad weather sets in. Yeah, but then, like, shouldn't that be here then? I don't know. But we absolutely need the gathering huts because we need it for herbs, for medicine. Without it, we die to death. Can we go on raids? Yep. We're about ready to build some Viking ships. We're just working on making Paula dressed stone. We got 40 out of 100, then we can finish this thing. So they're, they're dropping off the remaining building materials now. And then we can build our first ships. I'm going to order the harvest now. 
going to wait on that other one. So let's hire people for the mill. Also, it would be very nice in this game to know the production time and ratios. All these type of games are boring now. They offer nothing new. Well, I mean, of course, they're city builders. You're going to always be building a city, and that means that you have to gather wood and stone and make firewood and farm. I mean, regardless of the game, it still requires... Uh, human beings require warmth, clothing, shelter. So you're going to be building buildings that are related to human needs, unless we somehow you know, transcend our bodies and become energy. Or something like the Protoss from StarCraft. I, I, I think these games are going to be somewhat similar. Have a lot of the same things that human needs require. How's our bread going out? It looked like it was eight. Eight to one? Oh my god, there's 132 wheat there now. Oh, thank goodness we have alternating. Actually, that's a great idea. Now, okay, see? That, okay, that's a good idea. Don't build one big field. Build two medium-sized fields because then you can have one field planting while the other one's being harvested. So this one's still going, but we were able to harvest it, and that gives time for the windmill to process that because there's 136 wheat there. Donna Man is the second most video viewed video on the channel. I thought it was Ancient Cities. I don't know. Hey, finally, we can start making Viking longships. Let's do it. So build a ship. We can build a fishing boat, uh, medium size, and a large size ship. Excellent. And then we just need to unlock it through the tree of life. Okay, so goal now is to build what? A boat? Okay, let's build one. Costs us money. And wood. Let's do three boat builders. Takes big brain. Do two big brain and two speedy. Good. And now we can uh, build a boat. Hey, can you restart? I missed it. Oh, sure. Yeah. Right, guys, we're going to restart the stream. I'm going to load a new save. So hold on. Somebody, somebody was late to the stream. So just give me a second. We should do this. Okay, never mind. <laughs> No, I'm not restarting. You can go. Uh-oh. Why is their music changing? 14 hours. Newcomers can arrive. Are we being invaded? What's going on? The music changed to be all badass. What's going on? Maybe now that we can build boats, we can also be attacked. Oh, wait, no. Oh, my God, fire. Oh, uh-oh. Oh, oh, that'll buff out. That's fine. Nothing to see here, people. Just keep moseying on. It's fine. Yep, that's fine. Yeah, don't... Yeah, don't rush with that water or anything. No, that's fine, man. Yeah, you're... No, you're fine. Yeah, you're fine. No, that's totally fine.
At least we can rebuild them. The well was right here. Oh my god. Just casually walking around to put, you know, casual fire department. Like, oh, I'm a part-time firefighter. Part of the time I'm late. Part of the time I'm too busy playing foosball. Also, another thing that we noticed in the game is we could build more wells, but they have to be spaced out a bit. And there seems to be a pretty big space between where we build them. Like the other well we'd have to build like over by the like the intersection over here. Yeah, let's harvest again. That reminded me of the time the trade post burnt down in Farthest Frontier before it was fixed. Oh, yeah. The fires in that game were kind of funny. Alright, so now we got homeless because of the uh, little fire. But uh, that's fine. Somebody just... Somebody was making pizza rolls and they preheated the oven, but they forgot to put them in. So I don't know who in, in chat had the pizza rolls in chat and didn't put them in. But I'm not mad, but, you know. Safety first, please. Build another decoration. Also, you can build bridges in the game. It's under the decoration tab, but I don't know why. But you can build bridges, and that's kind of cool. That's cute. Alright, so two homes are being rebuilt. That'll take care of the homelessness. Food is actually coming in. Thank goodness. It seems like, though, the mill is... Like, it doesn't bring enough... Like, grain... Like, the granary is literally across the street, and whoever's working at the windmill is not, like... Like, go faster. I'm gonna order f a couple more houses, too. And the boat construction begins. Oh, nice. You can actually see the dry dock. I feel like they should be able to make, like, two or three of these at a time. Who's supposed to run it over? Well, I think the people at the windmill will go and get it. I don't think the warehouse people get it, do they? No, the warehouse person doesn't even... They store herbs and that's it. At least for now. In our production chain. Err. Oh yeah, you can see the... Oh, look at that! You can actually see each individual piece of the boat being put in. The ribs are being put in. Look at that. That's cool. Look at that.
Uh, no, the granary doesn't require workers. I assume the farmers put the grain in there, and then the windmill is the one that comes and picks it up. And then I assume the marketplace is the one who runs to grab bread and bring it to the market? Where food is stored and where villagers shop, it should be near... It should be in every village. Silver is earned with every purchase. Yeah, so I'm assuming the market worker is the one to pick up the bread, but... He does a pretty good job. What's my opinion of the game so far? I love the concept. The buildings look great. Love the shipbuilding and stuff so far. Um, a lot of the buildings kind of remind me of building in Dawn of Man, but also very much like... Um, um, there was another game I was thinking, but I can't remember what it is now. Uh, but there is, there are some issues here that I think should be addressed that wouldn't be too hard to address. Like, for example, the changes to farming and stuff. I, I think making a few of those changes would be very important and could be easily done. I hope. Anyway, I, I'm not sure because I'm not a game dev, So, I, but it doesn't look like, you know, they're going to need to build the grain from, game from the ground up to fix the thing with the grain. But I think these are things where we can give feedback and just say, hey, if these if these three major issues were resolved, I think we go from a a good game to a very good game. But we'll have to see how all the rating and stuff goes, because I think the biggest appeal is once you built like a little basic settlement that can kind of take care of itself. Once we can start sent training our people for war and going out and doing what the Vikings did, you know, live, laugh, pillage. Let's see how it goes. Manor Lords? Uh, I mean, a little bit of that free open style of Manor Lords, but... The house building reminded me of something else, and I couldn't remember what it was. Amen, live, laugh, pillage. Yep. Amen, sister, brother, yeah. Uh, oh, we need more logs. What else is new? I guess we'll keep this area up here at the north of village for big old logging. Oh, trees come back over here. Yeah, rip and dip. Yeah, we need some new merch for the merch store. Especially in time for uh, the holidays. we're making good money off the uh, production of uh, food. Alright, I don't think we need this many people working at the stone cutter. We can make up to 200. You're producing food. Why is everybody hungry? Uh, the symbols now are mostly homelessness. We had a fire breakout, so we're rebuilding homes. Uh, but people who are hungry still need to go to the market and buy food. I think it's 10 to 1. I think it's 10 grain to 1 bread. Chat, what are we going to name our first boat? We're Vikings, so like boat building and ship building, very important. What do we name our first boat? Look at this. Hold on. Look at this. It shows us how far people are from the job. I didn't notice this until now, but the 76 meters. 
Sometimes maybe a job will be, oh, here's somebody who's 22 meters. Even if they're not the best fit for the job, maybe the distance will greatly make up for the fact that they might not be as skilled in something. Mm hmm I don't even know if we can name our boats. I think we can name our ships. Let's see. Yeah, we can't. Tragedy. All right, let's build... Any more 25 per boat man okay well we want to keep making boats so let's do it so we can have one person working at the fishing dock without boats and then we can have four more on boats so that's good today this is going to be a busy year we got to get a lot of stuff done let's go five builders You know, we got a lot of people farming. I'm going to go ahead and not even do more than four. So I don't even think while well, the fields are growing, they have to do anything. Like, it doesn't look like they even come over to do anything with the, with the farms. Wait a minute. Hold on. You know what I just thought of? There's a decoration for scarecrows. Increases the yield of the field. Oh, baby. It's going to be a doo -doo 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 -doo. There's going to be 4,500 in there. Oh, baby. Nice. Um... Alright, let's grow the other field now. Hopefully that will increase the... I wonder if the yield is only increased from the zero. But now that we built these uh, scarecrows, I wonder if... Now that we're planting it, if it'll increase the planting. This is a good experiment. This field is now going to be planted with two scarecrows there. This field's already growing with two scarecrows here. We'll be able to see if the... Uh, the difference between the scarecrow being planted affects it at the uh, start or not, dot, dot, dot. Brewery, and eh, not yet. And they want a goat ranch, so I suppose we'll do that. Oh, also, when we build the goat ranch, we can it we can actually make the building bigger than this. So it can be expanded in size. That's for trees. Uh, we're gonna have, we're gonna have to move these gathering huts. They're too close now. Combat is in the current game. Yes, we can build defenses and other things too. We haven't gotten there yet, but we'll get there soon. We're working on it. I'm assuming it takes more silver to build it bigger. Maybe not. Prioritize a house. And I don't even see a number that gives, like, a prediction of what the yield could be. But I feel like it's going to be enough wheat to where we should probably build a second granary.
Okay. Get a house done. Hey, there goes our fishing boats. Excellent. Music's nice, too. Yeah, right now these people are homeless. We, we had a couple of houses burned down randomly, and so we're rebuilding those, and I'm building extra. So we've got a lot of, a lot of projects going on right now. We got a lot of trees being cut down. We got to get a lot of wood. We got boats being built. Settlement problem in the village. The newcomers caused a settlement problem in the village. Foreign, uh, foreigners set up tents wherever they find an area. Some villagers say these areas are theirs, even though they appear empty. There's chaos in the village. Everyone's complaining about this. Promise a new home. Well, this is, this is Frostpunk level of questing. Alright, these uh, gathering huts are just not bringing in enough. We're going to have to do hunting and animal husbandry. and We need at least one gathering hut, though, for herbs. Maybe I could just build it out of town. I don't know. We need wood, though. And let's go with uh, higher priority on wood cutting. Build ready for harvest. We'll wait a little bit. Standing by. Man, the games that you play need to pop up on Xbox from time to time. Oh, yeah. Yeah, if you're a console gamer, not always... Uh, city builders are, I think, way more plentiful on PC. But, you know... Standing by. Uh, trees will regrow automatically. I don't see a forestry building in the game. They regrow. They regrow pretty quickly, but the fact that you use you need to cut them down like immediately once they're regrown because you always need wood. So it's like we'll cut down the left forest here. By the time they're done with that, this forest on the right will be regrown, and we can cut that down again. Hopefully there's going to be a way to um, get a trader to come in and be able to buy wood, because I, I'd buy that for a dollar, for sure. Uh, we haven't yet to see the combat. We're almost, uh, almost there. We're working on it. Ah, the hunting lodge is ready. Go ahead and see if we can assign somebody to that. Yeah, we don't we don't want distance to be a thing. Oh, this is the big size map. Seems like the maps are uh, there's one small map and then three very big maps. The small ones is kind of like a tutorial map with everything like right there. Are maps random? No, they're pre-gened. Handcrafted. Have we built a mine yet? No, but it doesn't look like we can mine silver. I think we can mine iron, coal, and um, 
Iron, coal, and stone. Oh good, the houses are getting done. All right. Nine coin, nice. Oh, did we finish another boat? We must have. Yeah, cool. I I don't think we can queue up the boats. That should be a thing too. Boats can be made really easily, so it's kind of hard to tell whether or not a boat's being made or when it's done. Now we have two fishing boats, so more food for us. Get whoever's closest. All wood is needed. many cutters do we have? 11 laborers, okay. Oh, we're at maximum for a uh, stone cutter, okay. Shut that down then. It's so weird that you can have a building open or closed, but people will still be assigned to it, so it's like... Kind of is a useless button because they'll they'll be assigned. They won't do work, but they'll still be working there. Go do something else. What's up, cute animals? How you doing? What are we doing on uh Okay, thirteen on herbs. Just cut down everything. Yeah, it does show them building the ships, yep. We can actually visibly see little boats being built and stuff. Right now they don't have the materials to do the whole thing, so they're just getting started with what they got. We're doing a lot of construction though. We needed to build a ton of houses, so we finally did that. That solves the homeless problem for a while. Okay, now the crops look good to go. Harvest. Build a path to the hunting camp. Yeah, trees will regrow. Uh, where's that hunting camp? There it is. That speeds up the hunters and lets people go into the forest for cutting down trees. I'm pretty sure we can... Wow, they're already done. I'm pretty sure we can keep fishing in the winter. 
This will be the last boat we can make. Food will start to increase now. Good. Like, we'll have an actual stockpile. What's up, Leon? How you doing, man? <laughs> they made Valheim into a strategy game. Yeah. That's cool enough. Like, if you play Valheim for long enough and get enough people in your server, it will become like this. Everyone will get their own house and you'll have docks and stuff set up. Cool stuff. So how did we do on this harvest? 72, 92, so it's split pretty well. That's good. Bum, 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 bum. Wait a bit of that, let's go there. Alright, goat time. Now, this is interesting. Are we going to be able to get goats? By trading or by just finding them in the wild? Like, what... Oh, it looks like... They'll give us meat, leather, and wool from these. Oh, it must be automatic, because they just say to assign a shepherd, and that's it, so... But since this is also a food source, let's go double. Don't want to slaughter any. So it looks like at the start of the game, when the cows and stuff are wandering around and the chickens, I guess those are animals that we brought with us that have just been able to magically take care of themselves over the years. So we start with five goats. We must also start with like, what, two cows and maybe some chickens? That's kind of cool. Wolves coming from a goat. Yeah, I guess. Newcomers, come on in. Ah, gather the army. Time to build a military. All right. And time to trade. Good. All right, let's finish up building a couple more homes.
Okay. So we're going to get 10 wool eventually, so we'll wait on that. Gather the army, build a training camp, five warriors and five archers. Uh, we have to build a canar, a trade ship. Uh, build a trade dock and send the canar on a mission. So we need to build a trade dock. Tree of life. Blacksmith and the tailor. Ooh, productions are produced 5% faster. Oh, yes. More production material is gained from slaughtered animals. More meat. Where's trade? Oh, there's our training camp. Okay, we got to do this one to get into trade, this one to do military. So we need more points, more research. We'll do that. We build the trade ship in advance. One carpenter, yeah. Oh, would you look at that? Now we got our goats going. Oh, good. And we've already had uh, babies. More ones coming in. That's how uh, babies are born, kids. They they just ship them in. You know how it is. When, when's Thor going to visit? Uh, he comes every Thursday. Man, we use so much wood. Wood to heat the homes, wood to build the homes, wood to build the boats. Crazy. Today would be Tears Day, yeah. Well, at least we're going to get tons of food now from all the fishing. That's a crazy amount of fish that's going to come in. I wish we could see the actual breakdown from the top menu rather than clicking on the market. Wait, this is there's 18 meals but one fruit in the, Oh, it must be stored in the houses? Oh, it must account it must also account for what's stored in the houses. Jeez, look at these babies. Wow, this baby army. Okay, let's go back to harvest. I feel like the longer we wait, maybe it increases the yield, I hope. Uh, 
Uh, yep, we can raid and we can get raided, yes. They want us, I think, to build that ship next. So, that's all we can build there for now. Let's shut down the shipyard for now and let those people just go cut down trees. Uh, well, there will be a Loot Goblin Christmas sweater. Oh, boy. Good idea. I'm just going to cut down every tree. We probably won't need meat as much anymore. We have a goat farm that will give us meat, and we got fish. At least there's protein. Fish and bread, imagine that. I hope the trade ships aren't too expensive. Yeah, that's like the maximum size field we can build. But the goal's got to be to fill, like, two wheat granaries, so that way the mill can work year-round. Wood is flying in now. Any more tree of life? Alright, let's do trade if we can. Oh, we need one more. One more point. And we can finally build a trade ship and a trade depot. And then we can start making a lot more... Well, actually, we can just import stuff. We got some good money. And we can start making a brewery, which... Oh, and a blacksmith, too? Coop would be good. Coop is going to take some grain. I bet you. We'll see how that goes. Unlock the nicer homes.
Hopefully soon. Oh, relative died. Someone died of old age. Sag. Well, the only other thing I can think of now that might raise happiness is the tavern, so we should probably... Should probably start thinking about making barley. So let's make barley storage. Tavern. Oh, it's got to be unlocked too. That's alright, we can store some barley. Do we need storage for each grain type? Yep, it seems so. Which is okay, because it stores maximum of one thing, so at least it's all dedicated. So you only need to build a few. Make some clothing. Cool, now we got chickens going. That means even more food. Oh, uh-oh. Lightning. There's your weather. Ooh, look at the wind whipping up. Trees getting a little more, a little more violent. That's some good effects there. Whipping, doing some whipping. Uh, red things above the people means that they're homeless. We had a bunch of new people move in. So we need to make more homes. Although we're kind of like running out of room. Well, in this game, I would say, like, every time you finish a home, you should probably end up... You should always have a house under construction. By the time a house gets done, people have had children and like new babies are being born, and then they're moving in with somebody else and more babies. Crazy. Can't build there, my lord. More wood is needed. Ah... Uh, 
I can hear the stronghold voice now telling me more wood is needed. More wood is needed. Like I can hear it crisp and clear. All right, well, we got 23 laborers, which is fantastic. We can cut down all the trees. And we're going to need all that wood for boats, so everything must go. I haven't seen an option to make the uh, little circle for cutting down trees bigger, but if anybody knows if you can make that circle bigger, just let me know. Other games have it, but I just haven't seen it here yet. Alright, fully stocked fishing dock. Lots of meals, good silver coming in, food and storage, good amount of builders. Let's go ahead and make barley now for the first time. Oops, can't cancel that. Oh well. Well, we'll do it in this one. Let's harvest now. I want to switch for barley. Move our gathering huts somewhere else. I don't know why the camera's moving like that. That's weird. Oh, there it goes. The camera wouldn't let me stop moving. Now we're good. Let's uh, take a look. Animals, 920. Doesn't even show that they require any sort of food. Everybody calm down. Relax, chat. This just means somebody watching hasn't subscribed and turned on the notification bell. 
This will more than likely end as soon as whoever the person watching who hasn't yet subbed subscribes. And uh, don't worry, we'll wait. Anytime, feel free. Up. Well, there goes uh, the entire entirety of Germany's uh, black forest of trees. Rebuild the neighborhood. Thunderstorm! The god of the sky is angry. The giants must have made Thor very angry. His rage is felt even from Midgard. The buildings collapsed, people died, and became crippled. Bad news. Time to make 20 people builders. Well, that was crazy. Damn. That lightning looked cool as hell. Anyway, where were we? Alright, we got a few homes to rebuild. I see at least five. Six. Damn. Oh. Oh, newcomers, yep. Come on in. Oh boy. It begins. I wonder if there's actually a way to reduce that from happening. I wonder if that's actually a thing in the game that is tied to the number of shrines you have towards certain, you know, like, Freya or whatnot. Maybe you'll get more bonuses if you do certain things. Oh, now we have five points. Let's go for trade. Nice. Okay, let's go ahead and take a look at this. So under the trade dock, necessary for the docking of merchant ships. Cool. Pop that down. Hold on that. Go to that one. Change to barley. There we go. Hold on that one. Question mark. Not enough materials. Okay, we'll wait until we get more hides then. Wait, he's got wool. Oh, and we already started clothing production. <laughs> wow, we completed a goal in advance. Nice. How are we not able to get hides from these uh, hunting tents? We were able to get meat, but not hides? He must have been making clothing already. Alright, so time to go to sea. Now it's time for us to build a fleet and go out on raids and stuff. I think we could say the game truly begins from here. This is like where we want to do stuff. Bum, 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 bum. Let's build a ship. Oh, we have to explore the... We have to do shipbuilding too?
Oh, villagers walk faster on roads. That'd be awesome. Training camp costs six. All right, well, once we build the trader, we'll probably be able to import then. going into our second winter now oh boy hopefully we can get those houses done before winter um. hey what's up Matza? good to see you man welcome aboard Leather is coming in, but it's slow. I think we're going to have to build these gathering huts way out of town. Dude, look at that forest we clear cut. We need all that wood. Hey, yeah, what's up, Mark? harvest then as much as we can and we have winters coming already here I think we're going to have to play this even more because now that we're a few hours in, the city's looking pretty good and it's functioning nice. We're starting to get into kind of more advanced production of things. Like we're going to have to start doing mining and weapon production, which is a little more advanced than what we've been doing. And then raids, which is going to be like, whoa. Okay, now we got to pr provide homes. Good, we've made them enough homes to make them happy, at least. Good. Good. Yeah, we gotta train our Vikings. We're, we're really just getting started. That's good. Really just getting started. Really.
They're building houses as quickly as they can. Soon. Ah, yes. All those winter grasshoppers. Bum, 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 bum. Do we have enough tools prepared for mining? Um, I don't know. They want us to trade first, so we might have to buy tools. Maybe we have to import, like, sell food and clothing before we can start a mine or something like that. We're just doing things in order. Toro's a good thing for that. Yeah, this is like Viking speed build mode. Turbo Ikea. Turbo Ikea. Bum, bum. And those trees really regrow up there quickly. We need to leave that area alone. I think the two new homes there should do it. Hopefully we'll have enough homes for everybody with those two. If not, I'll probably end up building more anyway. May as well. I feel like we should delete these two homes and build the higher qualities. We're going to need another firewood cutter, too, although it's probably down just because it's winter. Yeah, it doesn't look like we can directly upgrade a home. We have to demolish it and build a new one. Let's make our new limit 250. Let's get rid of the farmers.
Well, let's see how it works. Oh, okay, so it's destroyed instantly. That differs than what I thought. Almost could have built a third one there. People are getting working. Actually, let's do half and half because the people do need to transport stuff to the construction site. Laborers also transport construction goods to sites, so that's important. Darn Odin attacking us with lightning like that? Jeez. Yeah, we're definitely going to have to go out on some raids, that's for sure. Newcomers, come on in. We're definitely going to go out on some raids, for sure. We have to. You're going to raid the fridge? Okay, that's a pretty good raid. Mm-hmm. We'll need weapons to go out on the raids. Well, luckily we have plenty of money, so we might be able to buy some of this stuff for our first raid. Oh, maybe we can come back with weapons and then... Another home completed. Right there. And then the one next to it going to get built. Why even raid when you have a great city? Uh, it's all about live, laugh, pillage. You know, the Viking way. Yeah, just for the memes. Yeah, well, we gotta save for the warrior thing next. So it looks like we can go out and trade, but also be traded with by, like, people coming to our place, but we can also send out ships to trade afar, too. That's cool. Usually it's like you have to wait for somebody to come to you. Do you know what I mean? Oh. 
mill can still work. Good. Get rid of that old gathering hut. We're going to have to do something different with those. Let an area regrow and see if we can at least put one. We need it for herbs. Luckily we have 60, so it'll last a little bit. Uh, build that house, please. Yep, we can be attacked. There's a defense uh, tier. Arabs. Yeah, I wonder if Big Money Masuk will make an appearance. What's up, bro? Heard you needed spice. Oh, what's up? How you been? Missed you. I don't think he's making clothes. Got that down. Kind of weird how this building, even though shut down, says not enough material can be found. It must have produced some, but probably not a lot. We gotta kind of figure out a better way to do hunting where we don't have to go across the entirety of the earth. We gotta have, like, neighboring hunting camps. Otherwise it goes too far. Well, at least food's looking okay. Crops died, that makes sense, it's winter. Yo, Musky, thank you very much for becoming a raptor egg. Welcome aboard. Oh, we could build like a little bridge here. Be somewhat of a shortcut rather than going up there. Uh, too bad the chickens don't make eggs. We can only get meat from that. So I think this means it'll... Oh, yeah, okay. Probably don't want to kill the goats, though. Need them for the... Apparently they make wool. We killed some of the chickens, but where did the meat go? Oh, he's doing it now. It's just going to take time. Okay. So the food number will increase slowly over time. We're building one, two, three more homes. New member, welcome. Yeah, Musky, thanks, dude. 
for the big O support, brother. Yeah. I'm going to leave this area open because trees, when they grow, they grow very quickly there. Hey, and look at that. The trade dock is getting constructed, too. Let's raise the trade dock to priority. I want to see that thing. I want to see if we can get a boat to come in. Maybe we can buy some of the things we don't have. Although we're pretty good at everything else, but we got money. Village is, uh, yeah, it's all right. Good. Yeah, we'll let more newcomers in. The reason I'm letting so many people in is because we're eventually going to get a military. And then we need to send out the troops. We wouldn't be so far behind on homes if we didn't get hit by the lightning storm. Yeah, we need a Wendy's, that's for sure. Connor, thank you very much, dude, for the six months as a raptor egg. Appreciate the support. more planks. New member, welcome. Yeah, like four of our homes got hit by lightning, four or five, so we had to rebuild those, then we had to rebuild another four for the four new people that, or like four new families that moved in, so we needed like eight. Looking better, though. Looks like uh, food is the only issue now, but it's not that we don't have enough of it, it's more like they can't go and get it. Everybody hungry. They hangry. build another fishing dock though and a couple more fishing boats yeah we'll build another one then we'll build like four more boats or whatever and then boom build another one there the big ocean so Hey, what's up, Roger? Yeah, we could build a cow shed in the next year, too, yeah. But cows, just like how the chickens work, it only works when we do, like, a big... Like, a big slaughter. We'll have to wait, you know, start with two, get the number up to ten, then slaughter five, and then let it go up again. But fish is kind of more of a constant, like, they go fishing daily. Oh, look, they're building the dock by section. That's cool.
Chemical detail. Thanks for the uh, two. How many O's are there in one trillion for a ten? Oh, how many zero? Oh, you're asking. Uh, well, let's see. There's six in a million, right? So there's nine in a billion. There's twelve in a trillion. Wait, hold on. Alright, we need food. Oh, the answer is nine? Oh. How many are in a billion? There are nine in a billion? Oh, then there's there's twelve in a Brilliant, then. I don't know. Okay, we need some more footage. Luckily, we're going into spring, so that'll get a little easier. Let's see what happens, though, when we slaughter ten of these guys, because I want to see if they actually bring in wool. Do we only get wool when they're slaughtered? Well, actually, we need the uh, hides, too, so we may as well slaughter them, because that'll be good for the tailor. And the hunting camp is not really pulling off as much as I thought it would. I figured hunting and gathering would be way more effective, but it seems like... than they are. I, I would assume the farm and the, you know, like the chicken coops and stuff... Those are m more profitable, but the gathering huts and stuff seem a little underpowered. Hey, look at that. Oh, wow. We can have two ships docking. Awesome. So we can send trade ships. Oh, uh, look at this. So we can assign a crew. We can set up how long they're going to trade for and what they'll trade with. Iron tools, herbs. Okay, so these are things we can import or export. So there is fish, fruit, bread, vegetables, white meat, meat, iron, coal, leather, uh, wool, fabric, wintry, cold resistant leather clothing, high quality clothes, herbs, and iron tools. No weapons though, so we're going to have to make our own. But if we go out, we need to make sure we give our people enough food and beer to be happy at sea. We're going to have to start making beer. I'm assuming it's probably more determined by the uh, military stuff, too. That's cool. But we also need to unlock that other ship, so we got a little bit more to go. Yo, Chemical Detail, thanks for the 10, dude. You're joking, there is 12. Nice job. Thanks, man. You made me, like, think twice for a second. I was like, did I forget a number there somewhere? But, all right. Thanks. All right. Well, I think we need to start building a military dock. We need to build a military dock, and we need to build ourselves a training center, too. We got a lot to do for this game, that's for sure. We need to build a military camp to train, we need to build a warship dock to load our military troops onto, and we also need to build a warship, so we need to go to war. So that's going to be a thing. That's a thing, I guess. And that's something I think we should see when we play more of Land of the Vikings tomorrow. But for now, folks, I'm going to send you over to a video for Land of the Vikings that we made for today as well. So if you want to see more of this game, click or tap the link that just popped up in the chat and you'll be live redirected to a YouTube premiere going live right now. You'll be amongst some of the first to see it. 
and then you guys can go and watch a start of a brand new possible series on the channel, and we'll bring you more Land of the Vikings. With four and a half hours under our belt, we have much more to see and much more to do. So next time we play, we'll start building some warships, a military, and we'll start going out on raids and warship some statues like Odin, Tyr, Freya, and other things that we can make. Thank you for being here, but don't go anywhere, or maybe you should actually, go to this new video linked in the chat now. Thank you very much, everybody, for watching, and I'll see you a little later today for some more Big O live streams. Thanks for dropping in. Dino One Actual is out, and I'll see you in that YouTube premiere. Let's go.